This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Squarespace. Turn your great idea into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project, whether you're showcasing your work or selling products of any kind. With beautiful templates and the ability to customize just about anything, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. And if you do get stuck, Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support is there to help. Head over to squarespace.com slash bangbang for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, Use the offer code BANGBANG to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Out of the frying pan into the fire, your method of cooking leaves much to desire. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Uh, thank you to Charlie Murphy Brown for that uh, catchphrase submission. Oh, Murphy Brown, R.I.B. Yeah, and, uh, and Charlie Murphy, R.I.B. Yeah. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> Wait, but, are you saying the character Murphy Brown has died? Yeah, I mean, her show's canceled, so uh, <laughs> maybe not officially, but... Uh, but I mean, were they planning on just... I, They're planning on it being guess, a big hit. I don't think anyone plans on doing something without going like, this is going to be huge. Well, right? I guess I thought it was a limited thing. Yeah, I mean, they limited it in the sense of they only ordered 10 or whatever, but uh, what they about, wanted more. Is Will and Grace, is the idea that that is just going to continue? Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. It was such a big hit, it, and the, the Roseanne thing was such a big hit. They were like, yeah, let's bring back anything. And then Murphy Brown, <laughs> they were like, ooh, no one likes this. <laughs> All right, see ya, Mer- We'll check in with you in another 10 years. It's not quite the same thing, I guess, well, Murphy th- Brown. Also, I don't know that anyone liked Murphy Brown when it was out, right? It was very popular. It was popular. When but, it was first on? It but I mean, all, the, all those people have, have passed on. Yeah, they're all dead. It, with whom it was popular. They're all dead. By the way, welcome this to the show. This was mostly to get back at Dan. Welcome to the show. Yeah, I know. Oh, man, he's stirring in his hot seat there. Because he'll never juices. be vice president again, but that show got brought back on the air. You think Dan Quayle could be president? Yeah, like if he was sure. like 100%. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the show. This is Comedy Bang Bang Best of 2018 Part 4. If you haven't heard Parts 1 through 3, what the fuck are you doing with your life? I hate you! Get out of here! Get out of my dreams and into my car! Those are your choices. You have two choices. And I know you can't control the first. You have two choices. Get out of my dreams or get into my car. They're going to find you. You're going to be taken <laughs> out of my dreams and into my car. Into my car. <laughs> um, <laughs> welcome to the show. I'm Scott Ackerman. Across the desk from me is Mr. Paul F. Tompkins. We go- bought a desk. You know that movie we, we bought, bought a zoo? Yeah, this is like that, but with a desk. Well, far less interesting, <laughs> but more compelling somehow. It is somehow more compelling. You know why? Because the drawers are filled with tiny zoo animals. It's true. They're alive, but shrunken down. I, I think I knew someone, or uh, maybe I was dating someone whose friend uh, told me the story that uh, they were in San Francisco and they bought a desk with their their uh, significant, they were moving in with their girlfriend mm-hmm. and uh, they, they went out to a furniture store and bought a desk and uh, they were so excited, they were moving in together and uh, when they went up to pay for it, the person behind the counter said, oh, uh, the desk has been taken care of by that gentleman over there. And they look over, and it's Joe Montana, and he's he what? says, and he says, "You guys are so cute together, and you remind me of when I got together with my wife uh, that I just wanted to buy this desk for you." <laughs> <laughs> that I feel like this is a story someone told me at some point, but yeah. someone that I with whom I do not speak any any longer, as they were perhaps a friend of a previous relationship or something, but I think that's a true, and if you're out there and it's you, we want to hear from you. Also, if Joe Montana's listening. Joe, hit us up. That is Buy so, us a desk. That is simultaneously the most and least romantic thing I've ever heard. Most from, in which side of it? Most and least from- Well, most, most because the idea that your love would inspire someone- to buy a high ticket item like a desk, right? Because we're—I t- mean, this must be fifteen hundred dollars or something, yeah. you know. But also, it's a—it's a boring thing. 
Yeah, I know. It's not like you're like, hey, buy them a drink, which is kind of romantic in yeah. a way. Or Get dinner, drunk. like their dinner's on yeah, me, yeah. and you look over, oh my God, Joe Montana. Joe Montana. No, it's like, but he bought them like a $1,500 desk. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's but, And then he explained himself, and it was, it was romantic. It is romantic, but it's, I don't know. I You know what, because I'm picturing like the harsh fluorescent lights. The harsh glare of the yeah. the department store eye. Unless it was a candlelit department store. <laughs> it may have been. Which sounds beautiful. It sounds beautiful, but it is a fire hazard. Like if you go to a Staples and it's lit by candles. Oh, it's just beautiful. They have like those old-fashioned gas lamps, you know? Oh, yeah. You would love it. You would never want to leave Staples. You would love it. You never want to leave Staples. The Murphy Group. <laughs> I know you're 17, but come on. <laughs> um, I choose to believe it. And I think Joe Mon- Montana... Is that who I'm thinking of? Because he's San Francisco. It's got to be him, right? From the 49ers? Yeah, from the yeah. the 149ers. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> what a- wonderful story, and uh, I, I choose to believe it, um, and uh, so I'm going to. But that couple, mm-hmm. maybe not still together? Probably not. I mean, what are the odds? 50-50. <sighs> you know what I think happens? Because this, this sounds familiar to me now. Mm-hmm. I think Joe Montana- Familiar to me now. <laughs> The islands. <laughs> <laughs> Familiar to me now. The rhythm. I think that Joe Montana was buying people desks as a gag. All day. He and was, they were all- Was it part of a prank show? It was part of a prank show that never aired. Okay. Yeah. Right. It was Joe Montana's Jack in the Desk. <laughs> so and he was jacking it? No, oh, no. Okay. There was a puppet in the desk that was oh. jacking it. Oh, got You'd it. You'd open up a drawer and then a puppet would pop out. But it got they never picked up the pilot, so the puppets never popped out? Is that what? No. they People did get those desks and they took them home. Oh. And the, but the, here's what would happen. Is the camera crew would follow that. First, the camera crew was there, hidden cameras, sure. they watching follow Joe them. follow the desk. Then yeah. they have to follow, follow the them desk. home. And then before the people go into their house and say, please, 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 can we just go in there real can we, quick? Can we just like... You go in, yeah, let us just watch you open this desk. Can we not, well, they couldn't tip it off. Sure. They had to come up with an excuse to get into the home. Can we borrow some sugar? Can we borrow some sugar with you outside? <laughs> and then they would put the jack and then they would, in the desk no, there? No, the, the, the jack is already, already in the desk, in the desk. So the what store. are they doing? Just setting up a hidden They're camp? They're setting up the cameras. Oh, yes. got it. This is a good show. Why did this not get picked up? Well. Joe Montana's jack of the desk. It was politics. Oh, yeah. It was politics. Yeah. Republican? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There was a grain embargo from the <laughs> the the tariffs. The empire. <laughs> the empire from yes. the Grand Moff. The Grand Moff himself stopped by and said, "This show will not air." Well, I choose to believe that. I th- I think Joe Montana is out there just buying desks for people. Yeah. Well, you know? it's sad now because he's lost his mind. <laughs> That's true. If you if you could be out there and buy a desk for for someone, would you? <laughs> What a question. God damn. Um, if you could be out there. If I could be out there. And buy a, buy a, desk, for someone, buy a desk for someone. Would you? Would I do it? <sighs> I, I like to think that I would. <laughs> if you but could, am I ever going to be in that situation? If, are you ever going to be out there? I don't know if I'm going to be out if there. If you could be out there and buy a desk for someone, would you? I mean, you? I'm, I'm, I'm in these streets for sure. <laughs> right, definitely. I don't know if I'm buying desks, though. I don't know if you're going to be out there, though. If you, you know, could be out there. If I could be out there buying desks for people, <laughs> would, would <you>? I? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. But I don't know. We have lost our minds um, <laughs> by the fourth episode. If you don't know- uh, right, on, how, right on schedule. How Paul and I do this is- uh, you're listening to these over a two week period. We, I hope we, yeah, we tape them all back to back. Why people should listen to these back to back? Save yes, them up with their loved ones back to back. Sa- <laughs> All of your loved ones stand back to back, <laughs> and then you walk fifty paces. That's right. Turn around and fire. Turn and fire. <laughs> Shoot yourselves. <laughs> Shoot yourselves. Shoot each other. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Shoot him. That's creepy. Shoot him. Yelling. Uh, with squirt guns. Well, of course, safety. Filled uh, with bleach. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that was a thing. I feel like that was a thing that kids were doing. Squirt guns filled. Oh, to stain someone's clothes so that. No, I think to blind them. <laughs> oh, I was. I think it was an aggressive move. Did I just hear a computer? Gaboop. I heard that too. I heard it. We both heard how it. Just like a donk. That? How could we? How could we hear donk. that, Sam? Donkey, donkey. Oh, well, he was donk back. Oh, can you imagine? I swear, I heard a computer sound in He's here. He's doing his blanket gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
So we are. This is an exciting episode, Paul, because we oh. are going to hear the top three episodes of 2018. Do you know what? When you told me that, I thought you were making just it up fucking to sound, around. I thought you were trying to sound cool. Yeah. And just, now that it's real, I can't believe it, and I feel embarrassed. Yeah. Well, you should, but you should also feel excited and because feel it's excited, happening, and I feel honored to be here. Oh, well, I am honored to have you. How many years have we been doing this together? Three. <laughs> it's got to be more than that. have we. We haven't been doing it all ten years, have we? No, but close to. Close to, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, maybe nine of the ten. Listeners, we want to hear from you. Text one for Joe Montana, two for ten. <laughs> um, the you know what the 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 top episodes of the year are always the fun. Tep to episodes. Listen. The episodes are always fun to listen to because they're the ones voted on by you as the best. <laughs> <laughs> and we accept your opinion over ours. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we're, we're spineless weaklings <laughs> who can't make up their own minds about anything. So thank you, master. <laughs> um, no, this is great. We had over 35,000 votes this year. I mean, that's a lot of votes for something that, uh, I mean, more people listen to the show, but and that's as many as to, to uh, actually like uh, write down oh, your favorite episodes of the year. And that's, then as go as, and, that's as many as Donald Trump got in the electoral college. What? That's that's as many as Donald Trump got from the Electoral College. No, he got like 290. 290 votes? Yeah. That's not a lot. No. You only need 270. Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, no, what? (laughs) Yeah, he's president. Our system. (laughs) Our system, yeah. Oh, Oh, no, oh, no, our system. (laughs) I know, it's crazy. (laughs) Hey, do you think there will still be an Earth by the time by the time this comes out, well, let's see. This is uh, coming out on January third or so. Well, I think there might be an Earth. Not too much longer after that. Let me. If there was some sort of thermonuclear devastation, that would happens, these episodes still come out? Yeah, that we've pre-recorded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if they're uploaded, <laughs> is there a system? So in yeah, some... is it an automated system? Sam, get off your phone uh, and uh-huh. don't talk into the mic. Sam, you have to pay attention to us every single second. <laughs> He's pointing again, like He's Superman. The Superman point. Do with the Superman, but don't get on mic, you motherfucker. Don't you get don't on. You dare. Don't you get. Don't you This ever. isn't throwing shade. This isn't Hollywood No, handbook. we're not going to make a star out of you we on aren't, this show. We aren't those men. <laughs> Hashtag. Those men. <laughs> um, but uh, why were we talking? Why, what did we ask, Sam? We oh, yeah. Sam. Is it automated? Like, once these are all edited together, do, do they get pushed out automatically? I would imagine if there was a thermonuclear war that the internet wouldn't exist, and so they wouldn't go out there, but... Well, but, I mean, like, they're in some sort of cloud. They must be yeah, some stored somewhere on some sort of... But, I mean, that's the whole thing about digital me, uh, media, is, is that they're only as good as the devices which we have to decode them. That's very true, man. That's very true, man. So it's, you know, and, and that's pretty much all recordings throughout time. I mean... Uh, Dad, I call this the true man show. <laughs> when they uh, <laughs> when they invented the phonograph record, it's not like you own music. You own this piece of plastic. It's not that the if you onograph ha- record. If, <laughs> <laughs> it's not Adam and onograph record. <laughs> it's Adam and ponograph record because I pwned you. <laughs> So undoubtedly, they'd be uploaded to some sort of machine that clickety clacks, but no one would have any way to uh, without a doubt. To retrieve without a it. doubt. Without a doubt. So really, what are we doing all this for? I don't know. I don't know. I don't it's know. fun to do while we do it. <laughs> Scott, I think you fucking cracked it, dude. I mean, that's the only reason to do anything. It's right? fun to do it. Also, while to we do survive it. and to food and shelter and to food and to food and to, to shelter. survive to food to, food. to <laughs> shelter. <laughs> Um, but what kind of legacy will we have <laughs> upon this earth? I used to think about that more. Really? Now you yeah. don't care? No, I don't think about it as much. Really? Well, now I'm convinced I don't have one, so. What do you mean? <laughs> I There's think so much stuff. You create so much happiness in the world uh, that uh, uh, when you retire, I'm not going to say when you uh, um, shuffle off this mortal coil, but when you retire from show business, which I hope you never do, I think that you should. I think you I should. I don't think I'll ever be allowed to. <laughs> Personally, I think that you should even even if you had a nest egg that you could just say, you know, fuck it, I'm out. I think that you would be one of those people who just keeps doing it. You do it for the love. Exactly. You're on, you're the king of podcasting. You're on uh so many uh podcasts that I, I don't think anything could keep you away. What if uh podcasts stop happening? That's a problem. I'm done. <laughs> you are done. That's it. 
Well, I mean, look That's at you. It. You went from stand-up comedy. Look at you. <laughs> look at you, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, you went from stand-up comedy, then you segued into writing and acting on television, and True. then you segued into, you, there would be something new for you to, to get into. Oh, I hope M- Mobisodes were supposed to take off. Yeah, I mean, remember Mobisodes? I was going to do show for the Motorola Racer. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing we wanted to do that on know you shut up mm-hmm. which was a sh- an episode that was uh optimized for motorola racer <laughs> and just have it be a little square in the middle of the screen right i remember those years when i was approached about creating content for phones oh yeah um which i guess all stuff is created for phones now but this was this was back but, when people had like flip phones yes exactly and they were trying to say, like, people are on their phones a lot. We're going to create content for phones, yeah. simply for phones. It was like, uh, and they wanted me to, like... Simply for phones, dear boy. May, I think it was a particular phone company wanted me to to create, uh, like, stand-up-based stuff because I was doing the show with the UCV, the stand-up show. Was, was it was American pretty, Telephone and Telegraph? <laughs> it may have been. And they, were, and they were like, look, Watson, we need you. Get in here. Come here. I wa- Did he say, I want you? Yeah, was it I want you or I need you? I always thought it was a uh, very you. thirsty Edison. Uh, <laughs> Talk about a thirst trap. He invented the phone. <laughs> He's the guy who invented these texting He's things. The original thirst trap. <laughs> Thomas Alva Edison. Meanwhile, you nope. got <laughs> Alexander Graham Bell. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got a uh, notorious power bottom Ebenezer Scrooge over here. <laughs> Just going like, hey. Hey, hey, get up here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember those years. And, and and I remember the years before that at around 2001 or so when uh, people were saying like, we you got to come create some uh, uh, content for computers now yes. and we're going to use flash animation. Come join us at Icebox. <laughs> yes, I remember that was one Mr. of the places. Mr. Wong. <laughs> and everyone had left all of their, their jobs in, for regular television Left networks. their families. <laughs> they didn't have to leave their families. <laughs> no, they stuff. did though. Really? That's there part were, of their contract? There, there were people, no, there you were people. You your wife. There were people like, I don't, what, what the fuck do I need you for anymore? I'm, I'm, I'm going to work for the computer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do this racist cartoon for the computer. <laughs> but yeah, everyone left their jobs and they just went into these other jobs yeah. that were gone within a year. Yeah. Meanwhile, podcasting still standing. I, you mentioned on some podcast recently that weird trailer park farm. <laughs> trailer park where, farm? Where, what? where you were doing that show with Bill Dwyer and, and Karen Kilgariff. Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. These people. Yeah. And I remember like- The Naked News. They were do- Yeah, Naked News. And they Second, were doing- I believe Second City uh, was uh, co-branded that. But it was like, I, there was some spate of radio, some like radio shows that people were doing. Like Greg Barron had a show and Beth yeah. Lapidus had a show. You, I wasn't at the trailer park farm, but I remember what you're you talking were, yeah. about. Because yeah, yeah, I went yeah, yeah. to, yeah, I went to see- I believe Dave Anthony and Greg yes. Barrett performed yeah. their show, right? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, and it was it was a warehouse with trailers inside yes. that everyone did radio it shows in or something. It yeah. was weird. It yeah. felt very ephemeral. Like yeah. you walked in there and like this is this can't last. I guess I was impressed by the scale, and I was like, oh wow. Every, I mean, we were all pretty young, and so it was like, well, the trailers cool were hundred feet Dave tall. And, yeah, it was cool to see Dave and Greg have a like a, it was like a real job. Sure, it was. It was. But yeah, the thing that I did was, uh, it was in Santa Monica, which is the worst, Mm -hmm. but it was topical jokes that we had to write first thing in the morning. And especially we're on the West Coast, so we had to get up really early. We had to get up at five in the morning or something, beat traffic, go out to Santa Monica, and then write topical jokes about four subject matters, the news, (laughs) entertainment, the news, (laughs) sports, and what was the other one? I know there was a fourth. Religion. (laughs) Yes, <laughs> writing religion <laughs> jokes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is in 1997 for yeah. MSN mm-hmm. or MSNBC, maybe. Um, and uh, I think it, it was just MSN. Was it MSN yeah. at the point? It was MSN, and it was the Second City Naked News. Yeah. And so it was me and Karen Kilgariff and Bill Dwyer and uh, Mike Nichols, Elaine May. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All of us. Avery Schreiber. Rosanna. Rosanna. Dana. <laughs> Um, and we would write these jokes every day and at approx- we would write them starting at like, you know, 8 a.m. And then at approximately noon, we would, we would try to write like two pages of topical jokes a day at noon. We would read through them all and then we would record them for this basic, like it was a radio play with flash animation yeah. 
that people were supposed to watch, yeah. I guess. Yeah. It was like for basic bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that, that Bill Dwyer had a leg up on his because he had such a funny delivery that even if the joke he wrote wasn't good, mm-hmm. he would always add a tag that was such in his voice that we would always like the tag better than the joke. Right. And we go, all right, we pick that one <laughs> just to hear him do the tag. <laughs> Fun times, 1997, yeah. my, my, technically my first professional writing job. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Lasted a summer and then canceled. But you got in there. That's the important thing. That's the important thing is I got my foot in that door. Yeah, and it's still there. <laughs> it's still there, still going, hey, showbiz. And you're blocking the way for other people to get in. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, showbiz. If I, if I can block 10 people a day yeah. from getting what I have... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tried to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a numbers game. Showbiz. Um, that was fun, though. That was a fun summer. You were working on Mr. Show, and yes. uh, we would talk on the phone occasionally. Yes. From our respective offices. Yes. Um, fun times, 1997. That's when you used to talk on the phone. Yeah. Well, we, that was not a weird thing to do. We would have hour-long conversations on the phone back then. Mm-hmm. Like you and I. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So bizarre. Yeah. I mean, normally, here's what would happen is I remember this uh, from 95 to about 98 or so. Um, around four or five o'clock in the afternoon, mm-hmm. suddenly everyone would start making a round of phone calls to each other to try yeah. to ascertain where we were all meeting that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, hey, have you heard anything about where we're meeting tonight? Yeah. I don't know who was making the decision on where we were meeting, but it was never me. But it was always like, do you know where we're meeting? And someone would go, oh, yeah, uh, Mary Lynn and CJ have a show right. over here on this night. So we're all going to meet there and go this place afterwards. If no one had a show, yeah. then it was everyone would f- pick a particular bar yeah. for whatever reason it would be. Because this, this was right before cell phones. Before yes. everybody had cell phones. Yes. And we all found And before, our... technically, I mean, the internet was still around, but I remember not really having, I would get one email a day probably through 1998 or 1999 or oh, yeah. so. You know, you would, you turn on and the whole, you've got mail. Yeah. Was like, nowadays, can you imagine that? Like, of course I have mail. I get hundreds uh, of a day. Of course I do, you idiot. <laughs> but at the time it was like- Why do you sound so surprised? It was a lot like getting a letter in the mail. It was like, oh, wow. Well, yeah, like one a day, if that. Now know? imagine, <laughs> imagine if you With had, vitamins. Imagine if you were getting so many letters every day that you had a stack, like you just stacked <laughs> you're just like, on the floor. And you're floor. like, I got to get back to these people. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know. Imagine, just, imagine just throw not, this one away. I'm yeah, never going to get back to like them. Like not opening mail immediately. Yeah. Like, what did I get? What's this? <laughs> uh, boy. But at the time, uh, we had no way to contact each other. But so. we all found ourselves in offices. Right. So we all had phones. We all had phones, but I, I do remember and even 90. We didn't want to do work. 95 to 96, <laughs> I don't think some of us had jobs. So it would just be at home, I remember. Yeah. And you just call up people and you talk to them for a good hour or so, trying yeah. to figure out and just seeing what's what's up with them that day. But we all, every comedian in this circle of friends met every single night and drank somewhere man, every man, single night. Yeah. Cat yeah, in the yeah. fiddle quite often. Um, and it was and it was usually based on who had a stand up set. Yeah. Earlier in the night that yeah, we would yeah. all go watch and then find the bar yeah. next to it after yeah. that. Fun stuff. It was fun stuff. But the commu- the communication trail is really the the part I've, that was exciting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That and, that seems like like the idea of talking on the phone for that long seems absurd to me now. That's how my wife and I got together is she called on the phone. You were a phone sex operator. I was, <laughs> and I was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar. <laughs> when she met you. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, she called on the phone, and I talked to her for uh, two hours, I believe, on the phone. And I had only met her a couple of times mm-hmm. and uh, made plans to, to go out the following week. And that's how it happened, you know? The rest is history. It truly, and the future, I hope. The rest is the future. What if I get home and, and she's, she's not the there? <laughs> oh, that would be weird. <laughs> I heard the rest was history, so I left. She's not there. Would she's the, not there. Do you think that song would pop into your head? <laughs> I think so. If I looked around, okay, it would take that me would, a little uh, time. I would have Dabda with it. Of course. And I, it would take me a little time to actually like accept that what was happening was happening. Like, she really left. But I then would, suddenly, I think at that point, it would pop in my head. She's not there. I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad if that popped into my head at the wrong stage of Dabda. 
Uh, yeah, in which stage are you talking about? On ad? Um, Denial, I'm anger, betra- I'm gonna say- be- betrayal. No, bargaining. I always mess up betrayal with bargaining. <laughs> I think in the in the ABD. ABD. <laughs> it's easy as. <laughs> One, two, three. Um, Paul. Yeah, Scott. Yeah. I have to tell you that we have to get to <laughs> the first clip on this countdown. Well, then I have to be gotten to it. <laughs> I think we've been talking for over a half hour and have not gotten to the first clip. People like this, People though. enjoy this. They like this. Love to hear us shooting the shit. Um, but let's get to it. Tell you what, th- we're doing the top three today, and these are important episodes. This is just how it is. This is just what happens when you do a countdown, and let's get to it. This is episode number three. Number three. Okay, episode number three. I want people to know. Yeah. These are the top three. That's it. That is it. There's not, we're not going to be like, oh, here's a few. Oh, we made them. There's not that. There's also like, oh, we made a mistake. This one's actually number one. This one's actually number. This is it. This is it. This This is uh, the official order. By the way, and we're not going to do a bottom three either. Fuck Wouldn't no. Would that be horrible? Like, <laughs> all the performers be interested. knew that, knew be that they, oh, I did the least popular ones <laughs> of the year? Look, I see those types of stats, but- oh, I uh, you do. Will you tell me off air? <laughs> uh, no. Because I'm in them? You no. son of a bitch. Um, okay, this is episode 534. Okay? Still in the 500. Still in the if you can't believe it. <laughs> this is an episode called Solid as a Rock. And the participants are. Do you know what? What? Solid as a rock acronyms to soar. Soar. I think that's beautiful. It's SAR, actually. No, it but doesn't. I just realized. <laughs> Solid or a rock. Solid or a <laughs> rock. <laughs> well, speaking of that song, you're going to hear it a few times. Uh, the people involved are Paul Rust that's and right. Claudia O'Doherty that's right. from the television show Love. Sure. Paul is the co-creator of it and the co-star of it. Um, and Claudia is uh, one of the supporting characters mm-hmm. on it. That's right. And uh, for a few years, Paul and Gillian Jacobs, that's who right. uh, was is co-starred on the show with him, would come and do the episodes. But I think that's she right. was – doing a Broadway play or something, and so she could not she come. She has some weird excuse. She did do another episode that is not in our countdown, um, which is a fun episode. But uh, So Paul and Claudia are there at the top. Um, the first thing you are going to hear is, look, Paul Rust I've known for a <laughs> I all, love this preface. <laughs> look, <laughs> Paul Rust I've known for a long time. Um, I have known him since probably like the first few months uh, when he moved out here from Iowa. Um, and, uh, he and Neil Campbell and Mike Cassidy, they all had their group together. And so I've known him a long time, really, uh, dear friend. And, uh, what I love about Paul is, and if you watch the television show, love, I personally, did you watch it or did, uh, I did watch it? I really enjoyed mm-hmm. that show. And, um, I thought it, it was so unique in the themes that it was discussing, um, and certain things that got me frustrated about Paul's character were resolved by the end of it mm-hmm. uh, in a really interesting way. Anyway, I just thought it was such a, a, an artistic achievement and, and such great performances from Mitch and Claudia. Um, so anyway, go check that show out on Netflix. It's not going away. They did three seasons. Can um, I point out one quibble? Yeah. And this is not didn't ruin the series for me, but okay. it did give me pause early on because it happens early on. Okay. There's a scene where Paul is gathered with uh, some of the other people that live in his apartment complex, this condo world or whatever. Right. They live basically at the uh, – like the What's Oakwood? it called? The Oaks? Yeah, yeah. the Oakwood. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, Paul and uh, Gillian's character have just embarked on this – They've just – their re- relationship has blossomed. They've gone on a few dates or whatever. And then uh, – so the guys are asking him, so what's going on with her – and with you and her, and, and he says, well, you know, it's like a real uh, Adam Baldwin, Meryl Streep situation. Adam Baldwin? A- oh, I'm sorry, Alec Oh, Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin, okay. Meryl Streep situation. It's complicated. And they go, huh? And then he goes, it's complicated. And then they all laugh. Uh, now, in real life. Yeah. People would roll their eyes. The, the, basically, the it, basically it, whatever happens when I'm the, talking. Those people being, <laughs> though, if they were those real people in real life— would say let, wh- what? No, let me tell let me tell you something though. If those people were who they are in real life, because I've worked with most of those people, sure, in a writer's room. I, th- I believe Mike Hanford was one of the friends, mm-hmm. 
and uh, who else was in there? I believe Dave Gruber Allen was there. Okay, okay. He I've not worked with him uh, in a writer's room. Steve, Steve from uh, yeah from Freaks and Geeks. Yes, what, uh, Banos. Um, Banos. Banos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the guy who who's so good who played the kind of dumb stuntman guy. Oh yeah, he's great, but I don't know. I his can't name. remember his yeah, name. I've never he's met him. so yeah, good. He's really good on commercials now. On commercials now. Yeah, but I thought it was with like all the people at his who played his in his band. No. Oh, it's just with the other people. Oh, okay, because those condo, people would definitely people. laugh. Those of people would those love people it. Those people would, yes. Yeah, but Handman would love it. Handman would die for it. Handman would die for it. <laughs> anyway, what I was trying to say, though, about Paul's show. Yeah, I was trying to be funny, and I guess um, the bad guy. So, sorry. Yeah, I mean, it was not cool what you said about Paul. It was not cool? It was not cool? <laughs> ah, the Naku are here. I recognize the delegate from Raku. Naku. <laughs> yeah, it just happened. I know, but I was trying to think of the word delegate. Um, <laughs> and I was successful and pretty happy about it. Um, so what I, so about Paul's show is it's a it's kind of a, a serio comedy because it yes. gets serious. And There's I, big issues. I'm not uh, too ashamed to admit that I had uh, a tear in my eye a few times. Oh, not me, man. I'm sorry. I'm not a pussy. I'm, I'm just saying. stone cold. <laughs> but um, so he's a he he has that side to him where he's a serious guy. But mm -hmm. um, the the thing I love about Paul too is he's like one of the silliest guys I know. He's very silly. And he's, he was yeah. one of the Bang Bang writers for the first three seasons. Um, and um, so uh, he's so silly. Anyway, so the first thing that we're gonna hear is his recurring segment that he's done on the show several times called New No Nos, which is his parody of. Bill Maher's new rules. That's right. Uh, so we'll hear that. And then this is exciting. Um, we have two people who are making their first appearances on the countdown in in position number three. That's impressive. This is Carl Tart mm -hmm. and Ego Nuodim. Ego Wodem. Ego what? Wodem. Wodem. Oh, okay. I said the end, but I should not have. Should and not I said have. Eam instead of him. That's right. I don't think that I've ever, like, I I have known her just as Ego for so long. I don't think I've ever had occasion to actually say her name, but that's good to know. It is good to know, and it's fun to know. It's fun to know. Wodem. 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 Yeah. Wodem. Um, well, anyway, Ego and uh, Ego is, of course, now on Saturday Night Live. That's right. And uh, Ego and Carl have not been, Ego made a big splash on the show. She mm -hmm. uh, has been on only for maybe six months before mm. she got SNL. So she did a handful of episodes, um, which are some of my favorites. And then Carl uh, has been a writer on Brooklyn Nine-Nine and has not been available. So I know. they have not been on the show this year all that much. I know. I lost them for my show too. Yeah. It's been a sad, sad day when those guys got jobs. <laughs> I know. I guess I'm happy for them. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> um, but this is one of the last episodes they did before they left. And um, they are playing Bashford and Franklin, uh, who I, whom I uh, mentioned uh, previously. Um, this is a wonderfully silly episode. I really enjoy it. This is your number three. Number three. Are you getting heated? I'm getting heated. Are, are you getting cheesed? I'm getting cheesed. D is it time? This cheese is melting because it's heating up. Is it time for our favorite segment on this show? That's right. Is it time for start the clock? Start the clock. Good afternoon. Oh, man. It's time for some new no-nos. New no-nos. Oh, boy. If you've never heard these before... This is where Paul gets some things off his ample chest. <laughs> yeah, I get a little steamed about stuff, and uh, people like to hear it get off my chest, and uh, you know this, the new no-nos. New no-no. Lunch time. Oh, drag him. You know that uh, annoying co-worker of yours goes into the break room, decides to cook something up, and it stinks real bad? Uh, yeah. I hate this guy. I hate hey, You know what? I got a deal for you. No, no, no. If you cook something stinky where I work, I'm going to cook something stinky where I live. Just sitting in my house, eating eggs. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, and the worst part? You don't even know it's happening. No, no, no! I eat stink! Yeah! No, no, no. 
Have you ever had people go, you want to look at a picture of my kid? Oh, man, I hate that. Oh, I, I have done that, yeah. Yeah, you want to look at, oh, okay, yeah. I'll You've look at a, I'll look at a picture of your kid if uh, you look at a picture of me dressed as your kid. <laughs> and guess what? I already got it. Look, oh, ready and loaded. How'd you get the kids' clothes? Or Shopping. I assume oh, they're they're okay, grown person sized reproductions of the clothes, not the actual clothes. No, the same size. <laughs> I twist, I cram, I fit. <laughs> no, no, no. I twist, I cram, I fit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look out. Uh, no, no, no. You know these people who slurp their food? Ah, oh. So annoyed. Okay, you like slurping? Slurp everything. What? Yes. You gotta slurp chicken. You gotta slurp turkey. You gotta slurp ham. You gotta... No, no, no! <laughs> Throat clearers! <coughs> They're worse than the slurpers! <coughs> okay, how about this? How about this? Every time you... Clear your throat. I pee in my pants a little bit. Oh. <coughs> You're annoying. <coughs> dribble, dribble. <laughs> yeah, I'm just pee in my pants. And guess what? It's uncomfortable for me, not you. No, no, no. You made me pee my pants tonight. Yes. Any more, my good bitch? I don't know. I don't think the PC thought police will let me. No, come on. We're going to let you. We're going to let you. Let's re restart that clock. Okay, right. re restart that clock. Start the clock. Don't spoil anything. Don't spoil anything. That's what people say all the time. La, la, la. Plugging my ears. Don't. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm going to spoil everything for you people. In the sixth sense, Bruce Willis is in it. Whoa! Go back, rent the sixth sense, and give it a watch, because Bruce Willis is in it! No, 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 Bruce Willis is an actor, and he plays a character in the sixth sense. He takes a shit in it, too. If you see it, if you can catch him. In the middle of the movie. Throughout the movie. <laughs> no, 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 my bad. My bad. Oh, I'm so sick of this expression. My bad, my bad. Everyone uses it constantly. No, 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 my bad. It's now my bat. Huh? <laughs> and is it a baseball bat? Is it a vampire bat? I'm not going to tell you. You'll have to find out when you say it and the person hands it to you. <laughs> no, 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 my bat. And then they give you a bat. They, so, do we have to carry around bats to give to people when they say it? Check Is your it, lockers after the show, guys. Whoa! Full of bats. Any more? Oh, express lanes. Oh, turn up that clock. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you go to the grocery store, what do they say? They Ten the, items or less. They got that, Twelve uh, items or less. Ten, twelve, eight, Fifteen eight. Fifteen sometimes. Okay, so if it's up to fifteen, let, let me get this straight. Okay, let me do the math. Does that mean I can bring in... Five? Yes. Does that mean I can bring in nine? Well, Sorry. you could probably just breeze right through the line. Could right? I just bring in one? Yes. Are these real questions? Okay, deal. I'll bring in less than 15. Great, that seems like a You can also well. bring in 15, because it's 15 or less. Oh, but I can't bring in 16? No. Sure. You probably could bring in 16. This, I don't think they'd notice. I feel like this is less of a new no-no in you asking us how these lines How work. do these work? <laughs> oh, okay. Low talkers, close talkers, high talkers. You've never seen Seinfeld? No, no, no. Watch Seinfeld. <laughs> Double yes. dippers. Yes. Spongeworthy. Social media. Uh-oh, 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 casting a wide net here. I've oh, yeah, added no, up not. to here. I think he's moved on. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, snore, snore, snore. Is, oh, what's that app? That sounds good. Snore, snore, snore. Snore, snore, snore. 
snore, snore, snore. There's four. You gotta write them even though you only say three. Whoa, I love mm. that. I'm downloading that now. What? what, what what's with social media? You no, know, I don't want to look at a picture of your sandwich. Okay? Mm. Um, maybe, you know what? You want me to eat the sandwich? Is that why you're showing it to me? Then I'll pretend to eat it. Every time I look at one of your sandwiches, I'll put down my phone <laughs> and I'll pantomime holding the sandwich and spend 20 minutes at least eating it. Is that what you want? So you, what? Is that, is that, are you done? Was that the end? The music faded out. Fellas, put the toilet seat down. Yes, <laughs> yes. I agree. I agree. Thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, sorry, I had to get that off. I had a real bee in my bonnet. Oh, good stuff. It's really grinding my gears there. Oh my I'm gosh. I'm allergic to bees. They are musicians and also geologists. Wow, that, what an exciting combination. Uh, please welcome Bashford and Franklin. How you doing? Oh, Scott, thank you for having us. <laughs> oh, you're quite welcome. It's my pleasure to have entertainers of any stripe uh, here on the show. So, uh, And you fit into that perfectly because you are musicians. Uh, but uh, I think what's also interesting about you is you're also geologists. So it's my pleasure to have you on, and thank you for uh, appearing. Thank you thank so you. much thank for you. having us, Scott. We're so happy to be here. Are yes. you happy to be here? I am happy to be here, Bashford. I'm happy to be here, too. Okay, so you're you. Bashford. I'm Bashford. And you're Franklin. I'm yes. Franklin. And we Frankie are a married sure. couple. Oh, you're a married couple. Yes. Oh, okay. That wasn't in your bio. It should read uh, musicians we don't want people to... slash uh, married couple. We slash. want to be known under our own merits. Sure. Okay? Oh, I now, see. Because this... you think people would judge you differently if they knew you were married? Absolutely. Why yeah. did you say it right off the bat then? This well, patriarchal society sure. uh, always gives the male more credit in the workplace, sure. behind the music board. Tell so what you're honey. saying is, is you think that Franklin wouldn't be given her due no. uh, because they would assume that you just pulled her up into this business. Absolutely. But if, if you don't know you're married, then people will assume... Uh, We're equals. You're equals. Yes. Great, great. Equals. Much like uh, Claudia and Paul over yes. here. Yes. Oh, oh my wow. God. Equals. 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 I Am see I you equal both. to you, Paul? I thought you were my boss. No, you're uh, double me. Ooh, that's double not equal. Like that's W? Not w. 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 Yeah, w. I just got the, um, it, was, it was sent to me in the mail this morning. I, I found out. Mm, okay, great. Right. You ever see that movie, W? Nah, God did. Haven't. Can't say that I have. <laughs> okay. I saw that movie. I loved it. <laughs> did you really? I thought Josh Brolin did a great job as George W. Bush. He did, didn't he? He did. Yeah. The, the spitting image. He endeared him in my heart mm. because I was quite upset. You were upset at Between George the w. years Bush. of 2000 and 2008? Really? I was quite upset. You, the I, entire eight years the you were upset? The eight years I was in a He didn't tip. get out of bed. He didn't, he didn't get, out get out of bed. What did that do to your mental health? My God. Oh, that made it worse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I, mm -hmm. no. I, it yeah, was a I byproduct see. of his mental health. Oh, mm -hmm. my heavens. But well, now I'm back. You're out of bed. You're on stage. Health? Oh, yeah. And was it the movie W that got you out of bed? Or the movie it? W got me out of bed. Wow. Once he became a human to me and endeared like, himself to me. Fine. Dude, he's fine. He's fine. Mm -hmm. He loves baseball. He, he loves paints. alcohol. Oh, he, he paints. paints. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, very Do you own any of his paintings now? Uh, yeah, we have we a do. whole room. We have a whole room of George mm -hmm. W. Bush paintings. Mm -hmm. And all painted by Josh Brolin as George W. Bush. Oh, okay, wow, yes. those are even more rare. Because mm -hmm. yeah. there were only like probably 27 scenes where he was painting in that movie. Yep, and we have all we have 26 to 27 of those, wow. of those copies. Who yes. has the 27th? Cut one. Uh, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Who do you think has the 27th? Honey? you got to track that down. I, I, I was somebody in, uh, I think I saw somebody in Ghana have had it actually in Ghana? On, on Etsy. I Ooh, was looking on not Etsy. Not gonna do it. Not right? gonna do it. <laughs> oh, Scott, I love you. That might be George H.W. Bush. But um, so you guys are singers yes. as well as, uh, I assume you said musicians, but you sing? Sing, you yes. Sing? Both yes, singers sing. and songwriters. You sing, uh, you duet on each one of your songs or do you take turns? Do or? we ever. We duet on each one of our songs because uh -huh. we oh, only have one song. Oh, honey, oh, let's duet. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Start so why don't you start it off okay. for us? Wait a minute. You say you only have one song? We only have one. one. <laughs> and you're going to do it it's, now? And it's a cover. <laughs> oh, I don't know that we're set up for the. Do you need the music? No, I don't know. Do okay. we, can, do we, we have do, access to the music? We can do it a cappella. We can do it a cappella. 
<laughs> Let's do it a cappella. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Go you ahead. start us off, baby. <laughs> oh, you want me your to take your part? First. Your name is first. <laughs> you don't even know <laughs> who starts? You want me to take your part today? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, how about I just start at my line when I come in? <laughs> okay, baby. <laughs> Not run away. There was no time to play. We built it up and, and built, built it, it up and, and built, built it up. up. And now we're solid. Oh. Solid as a rock. Dun, dun, oh, dun, dun, I, honey, dun, dun. I did the Barack version. You did the Barack version. You said solid as Barack. Barack. <laughs> oh, okay. oh my God. Yeah. Let's take it back. Okay. Okay. I'll start from my part again. <laughs> okay. So wait, you guys are doing a cover of Solid as a Rock, <laughs> but you forgot, and it was Solid as Barack. Okay. So because now you need to start over. I just want to be on the same page. Yeah. Oh, get on okay. that page, Scott. It's page sixty-eight. Oh, hey, right before Let's my go. favorite one. And Ooh. five, six, seven, eight. There was no time to play. We build it up. And build it up. And build it up. And now we're solid. Hey. Solid as a rock. Did you say Barack again? What? what? I don't know what keeps getting into me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I was I was Hi. looking at your lip. I was reading your lips, much uh, like George H.W. Bush. Yeah, don't. Solid as George Barack. Bush. <laughs> We have, a, we have uh, political differences. I will say that. In oh, our home. really? Yes, what are your differences? I like Barack. And I like Michelle. It's not that different. So you liked the first lady. Mm -hmm. you, you both supported the administration. And I like the first man. <laughs> Right, but still, you have to like the other one. Did you, uh, you you like the other person in the marriage, right? I, I have no qualms. Bo, the dog. Bo. Bo, they Bo, had a dog named Bo. They did have Bo. Sasha right. and Malia. I liked Sasha. Michelle's and brother is the basketball coach at Oregon State University. <laughs> okay. Good bit of trivia. But so, so you guys feel like you have big political differences. Huge. It's huge. We do not get along. You know, the other day we got into a fight over our political differences. I stayed in bed for weeks. He wouldn't get out of bed. I said Michelle was fine. I said she was fine. He wouldn't speak to me. Wouldn't speak. He wouldn't look at me. Wouldn't look. One look, wouldn't speak. Wouldn't look, wouldn't listen, speak. I listen. closed my eyes and shut my mouth. Close his eyes and shut, shut his my mouth. mouth. And but now we're solid. <laughs> Can I solid as yes. <laughs> Barack? Right. Can I ask you guys a question? You say you're musicians. Yes. We Me, don't say we are. We are. You are musicians. Yes, yes we are. But yes. you you only halfway know one song. What? You don't even know who starts it. You can't even get the lyrics right, and it's not your song. You didn't write it. We didn't write it, and that's why we don't know who starts it. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. But it's a cover that we use, and we go around the town, and every town we do a dig in, we sing this song at the dig site. It's like a coronation of the dig. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay, but, which brings us to the geologist part of it. Yes. yes. So you yes. guys are geologists, you're scientists. We are. Yes. We are. Are you You're married Geologists as well. Although we're married, should. we're geologists, and we sing. But we don't tell anybody that we're married on the digs. Really? Because, see, in our patriarchal society, I don't believe mm -hmm. that she will get the credit for being a better digger <laughs> than I am. I am a better digger. I am a better digger. He's an okay digger. I'm an okay digger. Okay. Well, you guys obviously know what you're talking about because Mediocre geologists digger. call each other diggers all the Medi time. <laughs> That's my digger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I wasn't going to say that. You were thinking like it. You were, well, thinking, okay, maybe. you were thinking it, and yes, that's my digger. <laughs> okay, look. <laughs> Guys, how did you get into the science of geology? Well, I got into it because I was studying communications. Oh. At University of Wisconsin Oshkosh. <laughs> okay. and not big gosh. Not big gosh. <laughs> Just University of Wisconsin, Oshkosh. That's a community mm -hmm. college. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes. What's the mascot there? Uh, overalls. <laughs> overalls. <laughs> just overalls. <laughs> just a, like a sentient pair of a overalls. A sentient pair of overalls. They walk around town. They <laughs> go to the basketball games. Do they and have every a, time they lose, they unbuckle. <laughs> is like the 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 flap of the overalls like the mouth? Yes. <laughs> right. And it talks. <laughs> right. Okay. Good. Go Oshkosh. Go. <laughs> Oshkosh. Not Bigosh. Not, Not Bigosh. <laughs> right. And uh, I, something, something was weird under the ground of my dormitory. And so I began to dig and dig and dig. Tell them what you found, baby. I found a pot of gold. <laughs> what? How could you tell what was weird about it? 
You know, every time I walked, I'm so glad you asked, Claudia. Every time I walked, I you. walked over the carpet, and there was always a hump in the carpet. Oh. Oh. And I was on the ground floor. I said, why is this hump in my ground floor? So I, I took a box cutter, and I cut open the carpet, okay. and then I saw that the ground under it had shifted. Oh, okay, well, it, was it, a, it was concrete underneath? Or concrete, was it, but it was, it was broken. A, a, oh, it was broken. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, interesting. The concrete. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was carpet on concrete. It was carpet on top of concrete, concrete. A very hard floor. Mm -hmm. There's probably a carpet pad yeah. under that as well. None. No, no carpet. No carpet pad. Just carpet. What? This concrete. is the first I'm hearing of this. <laughs> this floor was solid. Hey. Solid <laughs> as Barack. <laughs> okay. okay. That's what this floor is. The carpet <laughs> still. <laughs> I'm just getting, by the way, that you're singing solid as a rock and you're geologist. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm catching up to that right now. Um, Twist. <laughs> yeah, this is like when I found out that Bruce Willis was in The Sixth Sense. Ooh, spoiler. <laughs> Don't spoil things. <laughs> what a twist. Scott, so, don't spoil things. I haven't seen that movie. So how did you dig into the concrete? I took a spoon. Oh. Like prison style. Like and Shawshank just, Redemption like style? Like Shawshank Redemption style. Oh. Uh, did you know that Bruce Willis was in there? <laughs> no, I didn't. Stop spoiling movies for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that a normal tool for a digger? In prison? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, you weren't in prison, though. I, I wasn't college. in prison. I was they in had college. imprisoned you in this college. No, no, no. I could leave and go as, as I... But uh, they did put you out for breaking the floor of the dormitory. They put me out of college. <laughs> but but at, uh, at this point, you have a pot of gold. What uh, do you need college for? Exactly, Scott. You caught right on. So yep. was it was it had a leprechaun left it there or was it uh, was it literally in a pot it, or was it, was it in a pot. as much gold yeah. as could fit in a pot? It was in a, a pot like that you would use to cook oatmeal or some <laughs> other hot breakfast cereal, malto like meal, a, perhaps. like yeah. a hot pot, a like hot a pot. And it was in the pot, had a handle. Not to be mistaken for a crock pot. Mm. Not to be mistaken for a sock hop. <laughs> okay, well, not I promise not to be mistaken for a hot block. <laughs> I will not mistake Sometimes any of those things. Sometimes the block for each other. is hot. Isn't Sometimes it, baby? the block is hot. Uh, so you have this pot full of gold. Do you, did you ever find out whose it was? I didn't, but the pot stayed hot. And when I saw it, mm. I said, the pot is still hot, 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 mm. So then how did you get into geology, if I may ask, Franklin? You see, I was living below him in the dormitory. Wait, what? So I this is on the second floor? She lived in the basement. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So you dug I into... You dug into the floor, but it was really your roof. Yes, and you see, I was bleaching my hair, oh. and I started getting concrete in the dye. Mm. I stomped upstairs. I said, what is the big idea? Uh, right, and, yeah. and were you... Were you <laughs> I have to ask, uh -huh. was the, is this pot of gold, was it your possession? It was. It was mine. <laughs> so, it was mine. And this is news to you. I but This is news to me. <laughs> Spoiler you, alert. You, Stop spoiling twist. our love. <laughs> twist. I put it in the ceiling. I put it in the ceiling because I thought it would be secure. That people always put things in a mattress, in the floor. But no one but ever no looks one ever up. no one ever thinks to look in the ceiling. Yeah, it's like that movie Taken, if she had like hid up on the ceiling, she wouldn't have gotten Please dragged Please don't out. spoil it. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Liam Neeson is, is in it, though. Also, that movie 54. The boss of the, the boss of Studio 54 hid all of his tax evaded money in Mike the roof. Mike Myers. Mike Myers. Yes, oh. Claudia. Yes. Come through. Come through. Not gonna do it, Mike Come Myers. Come through, Queen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So, so. Yeah, I, I went up there. I said, What's the big idea? I'm trying to dye my hair. Mm. And then I said, This man, this man is. Solid. Solid. Well, Scott. <laughs> I beg your pardon, but I just. Scott. It, felt, it felt like you were leading us there. Scott. With that dramatic pause. Do you pause. sing, Scott? I, I, I've been known to carry a tune. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're carrying it all right. <laughs> Straight to hell. Look. Hey! You guys only know one song. Oh, but we sing but that song. But we sing song. it to the skies in heaven. Uh huh. And it's on tune, on key, upon pitch. All right. I said, this man looks solid. I At said, what's time, the big I, I had been lifting a lot of weights. I was on the Oshkosh football team. Oh, okay. So uh, so you guys got into a fight, but then you said you were solid. Did that? Uh... I said he was solid. He looked me dead in my eyes and said, What color are you dyeing your hair? I said, <laughs> blonde. And I said, that color is, is solid. solid. Solid as a rock. Oh my God. Okay, so you thought he was solid, but that didn't lead you into the song. It took you. It, well, 
what? No, it didn't. It didn't. It was just a moment. It took we, him thinking that your hair color we, was solid. We looked each other in the eye. You know, from that moment, I, I haven't spent a day without him since. Really? Not even one day? Even all those days in bed? No, all those. She, well, she came in and watched me. She I, sat at the foot of the bed. I sat. I said, I'm not going to do anything until you do something. Gonna and I said, well, I, it's going to be a while. How, <laughs> so how long ago was it that you met? It was pre-2000. It was yes. 1934. Wow. <laughs> oh, you guys are old. I we are no quite idea. old. We are quite old. I had no you idea. Look incredible. Yes, black doesn't crack. But I tell you what does. What? The floor. Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and the floor. <laughs> Number three. So good. Mm. Oh, boy. So I love good. hearing those guys uh, uh, laugh through their appearance. Yes. <laughs> and we're all having a great time. It was a great episode. That was really fun. Great and I think. Because it's called Solid as a Rock, and they sing it so many times, I think also a lot of people voted for it because, the, I mean, it's a great episode, but also very recognizable title. Very recognizable title. I knew exactly <laughs> what it was as soon as you said it. <laughs> All right, let's go to a break. When we come back, we're going to be doing the top two episodes of the year. Paul, what could they be? Do Don't you, even guess. Don't even guess. Do you really want to? Yeah, I really want to. What do you got? Better not tell you now. All right, let's hear it on the other side. We'll be right back with Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if you had a machine that every single night when you had one of those good dreams, you know which ones I'm talking about, the good ones, you could wake up and turn those dreams into reality? And it would be a, a small machine. It wouldn't be like, you know, a giant like those 60s computers at NASA, you know, it'd be relatively small. It'd be about the size of uh, even smaller than a mini fridge. Well, if you have dreams that you want to turn into reality, there's really, until that machine is built, only one way to do it, and that's with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project and turn those dreams into a reality. Whether you're looking to start a new business, showcase your work, publish content, sell products, or maybe even the elusive more, Squarespace is the tool for you. With beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. Squarespace's powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online, and analytics help you grow your site in real time. Everything optimized for mobile right out of the box. There is nothing to patch or upgrade ever. Buying domains is simple, too. You'll get all the help you'll need with Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support. They have won awards for this, if you can believe that. Squarespace empowers millions of people from designers to lawyers, artists to gamers, even restaurants and gyms, if you can believe that to turn great ideas into something real. Head to squarespace.com slash bangbang for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code bangbang to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash bangbang, offer code bangbang. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, back here, best of 2018, part four. And it is the new year. It's the new year. It truly is. Welcome to 2019, 19. Paul. No, 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 19. The Cuervo go. 2019. The fine Colombian makes tonight a wonderful thing. Steely Dan. Steely Dan. The fifth character <laughs> on Comedy, Comedy Bang Bang. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> New York City, of course. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm sorry. New York City's fifth character. Oh, so okay. It's, it's Steely Dan. You? Numbers. Yeah. They're me. number six on the call sheet. That's right. <laughs> Collectively, though. You, me. Walter Fagan and, no, Donald Fagan and Walter Becker are not separate there. Walter Fagan's also there. <laughs> Walter, He's and three. Fagan from Oliver. Fagan from Oliver. He's one of the power four, bottoms, I believe. New York. And then Steely Dan. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Um, welcome back. We are counting. To, we're up to the top You've got two. to be a bottom or two. <laughs> oh, Bill Sykes. Bill Sykes. Bill Sykes is a top. He's a top for sure. He's a top. He's a top. Let's go through all the <laughs> Every we did, we did that on a previous episode. As many as we could remember. <laughs> um, all right. 
we got to get to this countdown. We got to get to this countdown. Don't we? I mean, I what are we, we waiting do. for? I think we owe it to the audience. We owe it to the world. Um, let's do it. Let's go to, this is your episode number two. Number two. All right, episode number two. Um, now, this has to be better than the previous episode. It's got to be, right? Um, but not as good as the next one. Yeah, exactly. All right, so this is episode 543. I just want to preface this by saying. Yes. If I'm not on this episode. Oh, boy. Here it comes. I'm going to be furious. <laughs> Hulk mashup? Well, we'll see. Okay. Uh, this is episode 543, so. We're still in the 500s. That's good. Okay. This is an episode called The Ninth Anniversary Show. Paul, you are in this! Oh, that was a close one. Whew! Please don't say that before whee, our next whee, episode, whee. by the way. What? No, no, never mind. Uh, let's see. The people... Okay, this was our ninth anniversary. We started this show back in 2009, about April 30th or May 1st. I can't recall what the first one was, uh, but one of those days. And uh, this is nine years later. We did episode 543. Um, let's talk about who came. First of all... Let's talk about who came to, to the episode that we, we do. do. <laughs> first of all... Uh, those men, Sean Clements and Hayes Davenport, <laughs> were uh, recording their own show um, and were leaving. And I said, hey, come on over and do the top of our show. Don't don't say the whole time, but uh, yes. do the very top of our show. And they were nice enough to do that. Mm -hmm. So they... Uh, and nice enough not to say the whole time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Uh, but we have PFT over here, yeah. Lauren Lapkus, yeah. Sean Diston, Yee. Zeke Nicholson, yeah. Ego Wodim, yes. and Wodim, sorry, and Madeline Walter yeah. are all here. Okay. Now this is, here's okay. Uh, this is the ninth anniversary, and I wanted to shake it up a little and have some of the recent uh, people who were doing such a good job on the show. Reeple. The Reeple, yes. So <laughs> you know, you got Sean Diston playing Rudy North, who. Um, you know, made such a big splash. Uh, Zeke Nicholson, who's been a, a great recent addition to the show. Ego, who had been on for maybe six months at this point or mm -hmm. nine months. And Madeline, who is another great mm -hmm. performer who I lost to Brooklyn Nine-Nine as well, mm -hmm. who has not been able to be on the show in nine months or so while That's that right. fucking show goes on. Did that show get canceled? Yeah, it what did. Is, what is this? Oh, what are we doing now? There's no rules anymore. <laughs> it's like a real Hogan family you situation. Got Valerie, then the Hogan family. Uh, um. So this was a, this is a really fun show. We all got together, and these these anniversary shows, um, are like just big, you know, fun. Anything goes types of episodes where everyone is talking and yeah. trying to talk over each other. And yeah. I put out the invite to a bunch of people and see who can come. And uh, I, I'm always blessed with a wonderful turnout. Um, so th True. this one and this one was really great to me because, of course, you know, I had to have uh, you and Lauren there um, as uh, uh, cornerstones of the show. Uh, uh, but even Lauren was a new addition for, uh, you know, a, mm -hmm. maybe four years ago, yeah. she was one of these new people. So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to always bring new people into the fold and get, uh, new performers on. So this one was, and real you're trying to push older people out. Yes. yes. Out the door. I'm keeping that door that's open. Right. And show on the ice flow, grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> so this one was fun for me because it, it had a lot of the new people, uh, a, a great mix of the old people and the new people. Um, so let me tell you what we're about to hear. Now, in the episode uh, previous to these clips, you and Lauren uh, are playing Emily Grandchildren mm -hmm. and Dirk Nasty. Mm -hmm. And you are uh, you work for the RC Cola Corporation, who <laughs> owns right. my show somehow. The, the RC Cola Corporation owns scripts, which owns mid roll, which owns comedy <laughs> which bang, owns bang. Comedy yes. bang bang. So you're here from corporate mm -hmm. um, on my ninth anniversary to That's check right. out the show and see if I'm doing a good job. Yes. So uh, that happens before these clips, and then oh, but it was it was good. No, I'm sure it's good. I'm sure you can good. only sure pick out good. so many. Uh, clips. Yeah, not not good enough for a clip. Uh, okay, come on. <laughs> Um, but then we talk to, uh, Rudy North. Now we heard That's Rudy right. North earlier in our countdown in his first appearance. And, uh, he had one in between that and this, and his, uh, his catchphrases are evolving mm -hmm. and he is coming up with, uh, new stuff. So, uh, this is you, when we find out he's in the speed force, right? Yes. Yeah. And okay. uh, by the way, if you're, if you don't know who Rudy North is, don't worry. He recaps his character every time yes. he appears. Yes. Um, so, uh, we didn't. 
yes, we do find out about the this mm-hmm. the uh, speed force in this one. Um, and then uh, in between that clip and the next one, uh, Zeke Nicholson playing Kiwi Chris comes mm-hmm. by. So if you hear an Australian character. Uh, or something that sounds like it's trying to be an Australian character. That New is Zealand. New Zealand, yeah. uh, right. That is Kiwi Chris. Um, and uh, uh, we have Ego uh, playing Andre Pinur <laughs> is uh, the character that she debuts. Right. And a lot of people uh, really want Andre Pinur to come back, <laughs> al- along with, I believe she mentions her brother. Uh, oh, yeah. So we're going to see what, what we can do about that, if I can get Ego uh, to come in here whenever <laughs> SNL uh, is not around. Mm. Um so we're going to yeah, hear SNL is not around. It's not around. <laughs> Where'd SNL go? I don't know. It's not around. What if it just disappeared? It's not bad. It's like been a 43 year. Yeah. No explanation. <laughs> just notice it's just one day. It's like, it's March. Like Shouldn't in right SNL up, have come back from break? Right up to the live show on Saturday. Right. So they're working on a show all week. Right. And then when it comes time for Saturday, no one's in the building. Just no one's there, and the cameras are gone, and yeah. everyone's like, where'd SNL go? Yeah. I don't know. SNL's not around. SNL disappeared. I would love that. Um, I'd like it, too. <laughs> what? Well, it's just so weird. Yeah. What? It's What's weird about it? That it's just been there for so long? What do you mean, what's weird about it? You know it's what's All weird right, about it. All right, I know what's weird about it. I just want to hear you say it. Well, because it, it, there's not many other live shows besides, like, the news. You know Football. what I mean? <laughs> that would be another weird one. It just there suddenly was, just, it was like, like football. We're building up to the. Are you ready for some football? And well, yeah. sorry. And then no, the teams aren't here. <laughs> we don't know where they are. They're not here, man. <laughs> uh, team's not here, man. <laughs> um, I like li- every show should be live. I think. Agreed. Agreed to disagreed. <laughs> um, all right, let's hear these clips. Um, these are some really fun ones. Of course, we can't play the entire episode because it's like two, uh, two and a half Just hours. Do Just do it. Let's hear these clips, though. This is your episode two. Number two. Our uh, producer is handing me a sheet here, and uh, everyone is a surprise to me today. Uh, so let's see who we have here. Oh, well, this is uh, this is very exciting. This is, uh, it reads here, fan favorite. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been on the show several times, but only recently. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Only in approximately the last uh, five, six months. Yeah, it's a re- he's catching on quick, this guy. Yeah, Rudy North is here. Rudy Hello. North, professional employee, Rudy North. Professional employee and, and Scott, fan favorite. Scott, I need to get this out of the way right Oh, now. really? You don't want to meet our other... Uh, oh, I, I'll get to these two in a second. Okay. But you have to get something off your chest, Rudy? Welcome Pre- back to the show. Thank you, Scott. No time for formalities or no pleasantries, t- though. I got to get to this right away, You got to get to it. Okay, let, let there be no more dalliances, please. Scott? Let's go ahead and do a recap previously on Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> I am a dirtbag. <laughs> I life swapped a guy, took his job at Postmates. Got fired for Postmates for punching people in the throat. Right. Then I life swapped a guy at Target, took his job at security. Right. I got fired for punching people in the throat. Right. Then at the end of the last show, I took Engineer Cody's job with a life swap. He's no longer here, dear Wolf. He's no longer here, but I haven't seen you around. I was immediately <laughs> fired. Oh, okay. I Fro- punched Engineer Brett in the throat. Oh, no. Brett, is that true? You don't get on that. Yeah, you've noticed. He can't be able, he can't talk anymore. His throat is fucked up. Oh, is that why? Yeah, oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you've been, like, gesturing the, mm-hmm. uh, please give me the Heimlich uh, He does that a lot now. It's yeah. a comfort thing for him. You yeah. Know, it's, like a, it's like a thunder blanket for a dog. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so that, that catches us yes, up? Yes, that catches you up. So Because as, as far as I recall, you were mm-hmm. also a magical being. That's who- not important, <laughs> Scott. Scott, I'm here to talk about my employment. And Scott, I got a new job. You got a new job. That's right, Scott. Okay. Well, I was fired from your wolf, of course. Of course you were, yes. Of course. All right. Mm-hmm. Now, I was walking through a park. And just the other I'm day? Making I was making note of this. Note of this. I'm making note I was walking this. through a park just the other day. Okay. And, <laughs> and there was a guy. I heard this sound, and, and, and it was loud. Describe the sound, please. The sound, it was loud. Okay. Well, sounds are normally <laughs> it was, varying volume. It was loud. So this was at the mm. upper end of the it was a decibel tone. Scale? It was a tonal sound. Oh, okay. So, so the musical? tone, it was like a tone. Can I give you an example of what it sounded yes, like? Yes, please. It sounded like this. Uh, that kind of sound. So, sort of like <laughs> singing. It was singing. like singing, but it was coming from an engine, a motor. And I okay. walked over to it, and I saw a man holding a leaf blower, Scott. 
Okay, this is very confusing. Let me <laughs> let me try to figure this out. You heard a sound, a sound like singing. Yes. It was coming from a motor. In a motor. Not, it was in a, a car? A motor no, in a car. It was just, a leaf blower, Scott. It was, oh, I think I, I know what's going on here. And correct me if I'm wrong. Was this a Flintstone situation? Where the leaf blower was a living creature. Like a dinosaur <laughs> of some singing. sort. You, you know what? Dinosaur. If this was prehistoric times, it might have been. <laughs> but this was current but times. But this was current times. We had the machines. Look, Can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah. You noticed it was from a motor before it was from a leaf blower? I have a keen sense of hearing, Scott. Oh, okay. Based on my time yeah, on this earth. Yeah, but you heard it and it was singing. Mm-hmm. Based so, on what? I'm sorry? Based on my time on this earth. Okay. Oh, okay. But I, I heard it. It was a singing. We've all had time on this earth. So yeah, why right. should yours be my more hearing. key? Very good. <laughs> yeah. I'm very old, but we don't have time to get it to that. Oh, that's Scott. right. You, you're hundreds of years I'm old. I'm hundreds of years old. Now, yeah. Scott. Yes. I punched this guy in the throat. The guy holding the leaf blower? Yep. Took okay. his leaf blower. Okay. Took his job. Took his life. Okay. What was his job? Leaf blower. Oh, okay. I thought that might be no, something no, he was no. doing on the weekend. No, no. He's a leaf blower. He's, okay. That's... And he works for the city of Los Angeles. Okay. Scott. I'm happy to say that I'm a happy employee for the city of Los Angeles. I'm a leaf blower. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. Scott, thank you. I Rudy appreciate North, that. Rudy North, you finally have I found a job. what and, could be a career. Now, oh. now, Scott, a lot of people – now, you're calling it a career, and I appreciate that because a lot of people look down on leaf blowers, and they say, is that even a job? It's very easy. Well, I would assume no one would do that unless they were getting paid for it. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, or or they were trying to, you know, do the upkeep of their own but property. But, Scott, as I say being a leaf blower is akin to being an architect. Okay. How do you mean? Like, uh, I'm trying to think of architects, <laughs> architects that I've met. Mr. Ar- Brady. Uh, Mr. Brady is yes. the, only, the only famous example of an architect. Frazier. Frazier. Frazier was an architect? I think. No. Caroline in the city. <laughs> She drew buildings. <laughs> she she drew did draw buildings. Draw buildings. She Wait, drew buildings. was she a cartoonist? Ted yes. Knight from Too Close for Comfort. He it's also true. drew buildings. Okay. I feel like Frazier was a call-in radio host. I, f- I feel like he might have been. Mm. But I might be wrong. I don't Fraser know anything Crane. about Hollywood. Frazier Crane? Your last name's Crane. You don't work with them? Oh, shit. You know what? He was an architect. <laughs> I'm a, little conf- I'm a little confused by the sound that this leaf blower made. It All right, sounded, you want me to do it again? It, yeah, well, no, but it okay. sounds like it sounds like a human being singing. Well, Scott, I'm oh. not. Oh. That was pretty good. Oh, we were sneezing. <laughs> oh, that was a sneeze. God, bless you. Gives on tight. God it's bless one of the you. things that caused us to work together. We realized around the office. Oh, we got both, another one. We both. Oh. You instantly harmonized. <laughs> Wow, and I, I, I got a good ear. So. I couldn't hear over my own sneezing. No, you I, was sneezing. I guess any two different notes are harmony in in a certain chord. Hey, you're the music expert, Scott. <laughs> I'm just the leaf are blowing you? expert. I guess Scott's <laughs> criticizing how we sneeze. I'm, no, I'm not criticizing I'm at all. Down. I'm merely, cr- I'm I was more criticizing what Rudy said. Well, well hold up. Don't criticize. If you're going to criticize anything, criticize these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> My dear fellow. Well, I'm just saying, Scott. <laughs> Wait, did you say that because your nuts are critter sized? <laughs> well, those are as big no, as possums. I got big nuts, and if you're gonna critter size anything, you gotta criticize my nuts. Rudy. Now, Scott, you're not respecting me, Scott, because I'm telling you that leaf Don't blowing punch is me hard. in the throat. I'm Don't not gonna punch you in the throat. throat. All right, dirt base head shake. I'm not gonna taunt you in the throat. Now, now, Scott. <laughs> Were you a genie or something? No, I was not a genie. Now, yes, I might have a similar voice to a genie that might have appeared on the show. Don't That's we right. all? Don't we all have similar voices? I know I sound like a genie. I sound like many people. What was your, but I'm trying to, you, you always come in here and you never, you say <sighs> we never have time to talk about your backstory. I'm worried we're getting into the, you know, the intricacies of leaf blowing when I'm really interested in the. Uh, How could you be interested in You're me? immortal. Okay, Scott, I'm immortal. I wasn't born into a human body. I was born in 1600. These are things that we all know. <laughs> yeah, but Can we talk never about leaf into blowing? The all right, go ahead. Scott. It's, look, it's your show. I don't think you understand. It's his show? <laughs> I'm writing I mean, it's your. It's your time. I mean, it is my time. time. The floor is yours is what Thank I mean Thank you, to say. Scott. This forum is mine, and I want to talk about the importance of blowing leaves. The importance of it. Yes. Okay. Now, where, where do they go? Oscar Wilde. <laughs> <laughs> the importance of blowing leaves by Oscar Wilde. Where do they go? The, uh, anytime I see someone mm-hmm. blowing leaves around, I'm like, it's, it's like uh, when you go in, there's yeah. an air dryer in the the public restroom. Where and you're does like, the water Where's go? the water go? It's just like flicking it around, uh, you know, onto the floor. Well, it that, evaporates. Yeah, in that situation, it evaporates. But with leaves, so do leaves evaporate? Very, can't you just 
absolutely see where the leaves go. Oh, it just seems like they're around? just flying around, and that's, then it's like, exactly well, they're, right. they're no longer on my property anymore. Oh, yeah. They're on someone else's. Yeah, yes, my job is to get leaves off of sidewalks and get them onto people's shoes and faces. <laughs> <laughs> and to sort of get them so that people can walk down the sidewalk and be like, wow, this is clean, but... Ooh, it smells like mulch. There's there's bugs everywhere, mm-hmm. and somebody's sort of swished around all this dirt with air and didn't really do anything. Right. I mean, so you're just like blowing leaves onto someone's face so they Pretty look much. like Gene Simmons in his kiss makeup or something. That's my favorite thing to do. Mm-hmm. Blowing okay. leaves on people's face so they look like Gene Simmons in the kiss makeup. It's very specific. Scott, you should be a leaf blower, man. I don't, I, but I, I'm very honest, happy in my current position. Yeah. You know what? I don't know if you have the skills to. Blow leaves. Yeah, what are the skills involved? I mean, it seems like you pick up a thing mm-hmm. and then you point it at something. You have to turn it on. Is that about it? You've never leaf blown before, Scott? I don't believe I ever have, no. I, that was some expert <laughs> shit right there. I mean, <laughs> damn, you pick so you pick it up and then you turn it on? You're pretty good, And then Scott. you point it. You know what? Man, leaf blow is pretty easy. Yeah. It, I mean, it's it's a very low-paying job. I mean, not. Uh, I'm sure there are people out there. I mean, I don't think there's anyone out there listening to podcasts while they leaf blow. I think nah, it would be nah, impossible. That's crazy. So, uh, you know, I don't think I'm insulting anyone, really. No, no, but it's no, a very no. low-paying, low-wage job that, uh, you know, people don't want to stay in for a long period of time, usually. How, can I ask you a question, Scott? Sure. How much money do you make? Uh, has anyone, oh, that's a good this question. This is interesting. Has anyone yes. ever asked you that before? Yes, I'd like to I mean, it fluctuates. Well. Here's the problem uh-huh. is when you're in show business, jobs come and go. It fluctuates so much. Give me it's your fair. average of the last three years. <laughs> of the last three, yeah, I would have yeah. to take a look at my tax returns. I don't have them you so much easily money, accessible to me. This it. is interesting. Well, that is interesting. This isn't a rude question. I feel like this question is a normal question. Hey, you you put the rude normal. in Rudy North, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, funny rhyme. That's, that's a, a funny rhyme. That is a funny rhyme. rhyme. It's that is good. Quite good. So, How much money do you make? Uh, well, I mean. What are we you, paying you? <laughs> <laughs> you guys should have this information more than anyone. Yeah, no, you just, we do. We do. We just want to know how you interpret it. In dollars. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> you were troubled now, Scott. Interesting. Not how we Rudy, meant what are you talking about? Be delivered. Making a note of that. Look, Rudy, why are we you here? What? To uh, not to quote the Beastie pretzels. Boys, but why are you here? Supposed to be pretzels. Supposed to be pretzels. I did want to tell you about my new job, but I did have some other news I need to deliver to you, but oh. then we can move on and we don't need to. Okay, this is news about yourself or news about it's me? It's kind of news about myself, but it's news okay. about everybody. Okay. Scott. I'm sorry. Everybody in the world? Or everybody here? Everyone who's ever existed. <gasps> ever existed? <laughs> the dead? Yeah. Look, Scott. From the first caveman that, that uh, yeah. you know, took a lightning strike to a tree branch and yeah. decided, like, oh, that keeps me warm. He's affected too, Scott. Oh, my gosh. The um, first caveman <laughs> that took a lightning strike so how do you think to, a tree branch, to a tree branch happened. and said, oh, that it keeps said, me oh, warm. You guys think warm. that's a weird question? I, I got it. <laughs> uh, Scott... Your, your actual name is Slot Ackerman. We're living in a Flashpoint-esque scenario where I've traveled back in time and changed And you've altered details. the future? Yeah. Little details have changed in everyone's lives. It's just like the buttercream effect? It's like the buttercream effect, Scott. Oh, no. Uh, so, yeah. Your name is Scott now. It's Scott now, but yeah. it used to be Slot? It used to be Slot Ackerman. I don't know quite What was how my name, Dirtbag? Oh, your name was um, Mrs. Grandkids. <laughs> Mrs. Grandkids, not Miss Grandchildren? <laughs> no, it was Mrs. Grandkids. What was my name? Oh, your name? Uh, Dick Thirsty. <laughs> I'll stick with Dirk. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, but what, was uh, Miss Grandchildren married to Stephen King in, in the previous? She was married to Stephen Prince. Stephen Prince? <laughs> yeah. Scott, I don't what? really want to explain all the, all the differences. Was Stephen King's name Stephen Prince before? Or was it a totally different person? It, when you go back that far in time, it's hard to kind of predict the outcomes. So yeah, yeah it's how, hard. How far back did you go in order to? Oh, change I went all back. This? I went back before humans existed. Whoa, what? the primordial ooze. I, I think you have a lot of other guests, Scott, and I feel like we shouldn't really get too far into this. How did you do it? How did you achieve it? Because as far as I know, you're just a an immortal. Oh yeah, I can run really fast like the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> just like the DC Comics flash. Okay, so you can't time travel in terms of just like if you w- oh, wanted no, to. You'd have to, no, you'd no. have to run really fast. To I get run that. really you fast. Ran backwards in time. Mm-hmm. I have the same powers as the Flash. The, the Every single power? Yep. I can phase <laughs> through stuff. Um, I could also make duplicates of myself when I vibrate really fast. Okay. And um, Can you bring other people into the Speed Force and have yeah, them experience? Oh, yeah. I, I would love to experience you it. You want to talk to the Speed Force? Yeah, well, let me get in there. <laughs> All right, hold on. 
<gasps> oh my god, that was amazing. Yeah, that, god, was, that was crazy. That was like three years yeah. we were in there. What did you how, say to the how, speed force? <laughs> I don't know. We just uh, it didn't talk back, so I just yeah. He said like a lot a, of stuff, but Scott, we had a lot of fun times in there. That was really fun. I feel like I mean, this is, you're my best friend. I love you for Scott. the last three years. <laughs> How long were we gone? Was it like two years? Why are you guys still here? I can't believe it. It was oh, we've been the time stopped over here. I guess it was just like a millisecond to us. Oh my. Oh my gosh. That's right, Scott. Rudy and I have I experienced really so much. Though. He told me his whole backstory. Yeah. I learned everything about him. Now, Come Scott, on. now now that you know What's the backstory, let's not start telling I, people. It's boring to it's me It's boring, now. Yeah, right? I don't, don't want to hear We've it anymore. so much about have a I don't have any information about them uh, other than their name, uh, but please welcome to the show, Entre P. Newer. How you doing? Hi, hi, Andre. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How yeah. are you? How are you? I'm good. Call me by my full name, please. Andre mother- P. Newer. Yes, my mother didn't name me Andre P. Newer for nothing. Wow. Okay, I beg your pardon. I, it, it's I guess it's a custom in human beings to only call someone by half their name. Well, I'm not like other human beings. I'm an Andre P. Newer. This must have come up so many times in your life. I'm not sure why you're so upset about it right now. Because I'm hot, all right? Okay. I'm hot. You're I'm, coming in hot here. I'm coming in hot. It's hot outside. I'm hot inside. Okay, it's so nice to meet you. I'm Scott. I'm the host of the show. Good We've to never meet met you. before. Scott, uh, last last uh, name of the I beg your show? pardon. Scott David Ackerman. That's Scott David Ackerman. Yeah. Good to meet you. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is Kiwi Chris. I believe that's his full name. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. What? Good to meet you. Rudy, Rudy North, uh, of course, I know that's his full name. Great. It's, it's rudimentary North. Rudimentary. I can't yeah. believe you forgot that. Scott. I did. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry, but it was 18 years ago. Do I, you, show, you just reminded that never came up in the last 18 years. Mm-hmm. <sighs> sorry. Mm-hmm. Andre, how you doing? Man? I'm, uh, excuse me? Who are you Andre P. To? Noor. I'm good. I'm good. And who are these two? The, this is Dirk Thirsty. And, I'm Dirk Thirsty. And Emily Grandchildren. They're from Corporate. They work for RC Cola. We're and here to monitor the show, and we're going to report back on what we hear. You yeah. work for oh. Corporate, you say? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm going to, okay. I'm going are to you sneeze. looking to invest in some businesses? Uh, Oh, sorry, sorry they just sneezed. sneezed. We sneezed. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Sounded like a, a leaf blower tune. for a second. Sorry, please ask a question again. <laughs> Are you interested in looking to purchase some businesses? Are oh. you interested in looking to purchase some businesses? Yes. We are interested We're in looking, looking to, to purchase, purchase some businesses. businesses. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so what would the first step... Well, we're going to think about looking. First, yeah. We think about looking. We're interested in that. Then we would look. Have you have you thought past that? Or no, is that, no, not yet. We're not we're done. At the beginning stage. Yeah, because there are a lot it's of places process. to look. So it's you have process. to like get all those places. Get all your That's ducks right. in right. I have a great business. I would love for you to consider thinking about investing in. Oh, um, it is a platform for people to interact with one and another. Ooh. Oh, like a, like an, on the internet, a social media platform, or, do you mean? Or? You've never seen nothing like it before. It is, you can put photographs, uh, captions as well. Put, put, <laughs> put photographs where? Sounds like Instagram. <laughs> Wait, or a scrapbook. No. Does I've Instagram that, include captions? I've heard that yes. a few oh, times. It, does. Okay. it sounds like in, But these are old photos. So old, they're not eligible for Instagram's Throwback Thursday. Oh. oh. <laughs> they, they How, I, so I forget old. what the cutoff point is. What, what is the cutoff year for Throwback Thursday? If your photo is older than 40 years, you can't right. put it up oh. there for Throwback that's Thursday. Thursday. I, I forgot. It, that's in the terms of service. I forgot. Yeah. I right. can't get my baby picture to stay. <laughs> Never seen a TBT from Civil Rights era, huh? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> whatever, whatever he just said. <laughs> sure. Are you interested in looking to invest in is it, I, I, We're interested well, in thinking about looking. Yes, exactly. Okay. I can't tell. Is it is it on the internet? Is it a social media platform or is it a literal platform? You go on. I don't know the answer to your question, Scott David Ackerman, but you go on on, on to the web. It okay. is a, it's a, a, a web. Are That's we talking about a spider web or are we talking about the actual world Get on web? a spider that, web. <laughs> That's something. For, Will it be any spider web that, or is it a specific one? Well, now you're putting words into my mouth. Uh, you can... How, whatever Please web, put words into your mouth. It helps us make sense of words this. Words come out of my mouth. They don't go back in. Honey. <laughs> I understand the words it's that exit, are coming out of your mouth. Your mouth can is you, exit only. Can you exit understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I can't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. Can I say almost nobody understands okay. the words coming out of my mouth? <laughs> Rudy, what movie is that from? Oh, uh, what? What movie is that? That's obviously a movie reference. No. You saw another movie without me? Okay, I saw Rush Hour. 
Right? Is that it? Rush Hour. <laughs> Rush Hour 2. Rush Hour 2. I have an idea I for think a they movie did it as well. You do? Yes. We were moving on from this platform? Well, y'all don't seem to understand. Oh, well, you were, no, just, you we were want describing, to. You were describing we want something to. that already we want existed, to Andre. Oh, no. You telling me that there's a platform where you could put photos that are older than 40 years old? <laughs> Multiple. <laughs> Name one. <laughs> Facebook. He's going down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Do you, you know something that we know? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Mark. Wow. Zuckerberg is going down with the government. Please use his full name. <laughs> Mark Anthony Zuckerberg. By the way, what is the what is the P What does the P stand for in your Little name and why aren't you insisting I use that? <laughs> It is just P. Oh, it's just oh, it's P E E. <laughs> it's a Homer J situation. Like that famous tape. <laughs> it's P P E E capital E. The last oh, one is a okay. capital E. So it's bookended by some capitals. The P yeah. tape. <laughs> P I love that film. <laughs> so you're you're pitching. So you're saying Facebook's going down. So you're pitching a replacement to that. No, it's not a replacement. What I do is original. Um, <laughs> Say that again? Original. So people will not do the same things they did on Facebook. They will do totally separate things. Yes. This will not be a substitute for Facebook. Yes, people will talk to their parents. People will accept <laughs> friend requests from their grandparents. Can I ask you a question, uh, Entre P. Newer? <laughs> yes. Have you ever been on Facebook? I've seen it from a distance. Sure. Well, how a, far of a distance? Yeah. Like a football field? At a coffee shop over a young man who I spoke to him. He said he was a writer. Okay. But he spent the whole time on Facebook. Oh, that's pretty common here so in Los of, Angeles. One of the features of your your website is I can accept a friend request from my grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. That's, and you put that in a pitch. You're pitching it. Right? Okay. Precisely. And you can if also that's looking, the second thing in your pitch. If you're, if you're not <laughs> your front loading your pitch with this. If you're not looking to invest in my product, I have other products. Yeah, tell us your idea for the movie. Yeah. A black and an Asian man. <laughs> a black period and an Asian man. Uh, uh, two so cop- first sentence, a black. Mm-hmm. A black period. That's subject, predicate, verb, mm-hmm. all of it. Mm-hmm. Okay? How, yep. Yes. Okay. And, an well, and an Asian man. Mm-hmm. They're police. Okay. Okay. And they're going to. Uh, and just, end- so, just can I ask? Does someone not understand words that are coming out of someone's mouth? Sure. And sure. Is it a sequel? No. It's called Hush Hour. <laughs> okay. Because okay. the other person. Now hold up. Have you seen a quieter place? Uh, I've seen a quiet place. I don't know what that is, <laughs> okay. but a quieter place is. Uh, a movie about a family, mm. Mm. and they are mm. in. I feel like I'm in church. I feel, <laughs> mm. Thank you very mm. much. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Pitch. Church. They, pitch on. Sister. <laughs> sister. <laughs> they, pitch on. Let the spirit of the preacher get inside tonight. <laughs> okay, I can yes. feel the pitch coming inside me. Yes, Lord. yes, Lord. Use me, God. Okay. Uh, the pitch. The pitch for a quieter place. Mm-hmm. A, family, a family. A family. In a sound studio. One, the father is trying to record a mixer tape. A mixer tape? <laughs> he wants to record his mixer. This actually genuinely sounds like a cool this original idea. I like this. Thank you. Wait, man. why am I talking like this now? Um, See, it now, rubs off on you, don't it? Sorry. It's pretty cookly, eh? My time I'm is Irish. of... Your time is of the essence. Of the ebony. That's <laughs> my magazine. <laughs> That's my magazine of choice. Can we okay. make up a quick bit of a question about yeah, Russia Hour? Sure. Can, hush Hour. Hush Hour. Can the Chinese guy touch the bleak guy's radio or no? Wait, he, she. The Chinese she, man don't have no hands in this one. Oh. He, oh. So, in fact, he can't. Why is he Chinese? Oh. Why did you assume he's Chinese? <laughs> oh, so I'm from New Zealand. It's the only Asian folks we have there. <laughs> okay, she just said Asian. What? I did just say Asian, but I appreciate your help, Australian. Uh, yeah, I guess. Kiwi, big difference. Kiwi. You see, but that's exactly what you just did with Chinese right. and Asian, oh. you know? I Never was trying to make a point, do you see? Oh, oh very good, Andre P. Newer. Thank you very much. Point received. Well, if y'all, does anyone Point, have... Just like uh, Dirk's beard here. Point received. <laughs> <laughs> the end of what it, What did I mean. you just put in your coat? <laughs> My beard. Yeah, uh, as you can see, Dirk's uh, rainbow-colored beard comes to a point at the end of it. <laughs> oh, I see. As you can see. <laughs> does anyone have any interest in considering these businesses for funding? Let's well, move on looking. to a different business because I'm well, not sure about the other. I have interest in considering that. We're I looking would. to be interested in considering this. We are looking. Looking, 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 looking. Oh, look, 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 look,
in a more original idea. Because sure. a lot of these ideas sound yeah, they, fun, yeah. but they're a little they, They're a little, yeah. I didn't want to do this on this podcast, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't want to out this idea because I don't have the patent just yet. It is pending. It's pending. Okay, well, that's good, though, that it's pending, it pending. because no one can swoop in there. I've never heard of something patent pending that someone was like, got in there, you know, a little right earlier. Before, yeah. <laughs> Well, this one is oh, this is this is going to be my claim to fame. Oh, okay. I can't wait. Great. A a uh, rectangular shaped object with four to five seats inside of it. Oh. A wheel in front of one seat. <laughs> a wheel. You're, in you're, front can, of one can, seat. Look, you're you're describing a car right now. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You're poorly on. describing a car. I wait, wait, where this, what, what, I does this what, what does it do? What does it do? What is it about? What is it what is this about? It, the person, somebody will sit in the car. Oh, everyone! <laughs> you, you, you just said car. You pitched a car. You know what a car is. You're just copying ideas. No, the devil doesn't got inside me. You said car. You said car, and you planted a seed of doubt in my mind. I, be, I beg your pardon. I'm sorry. I don't I'm mean to get in your head. To my stomach. <laughs> Number two. Oh, yes. Good shit. Good shit, my boy. Was this also... I wasn't listening to the clip. I was looking at stuff. Yeah. Was... Madeline Walter, by the way, came after these clips and did Charlie Manson. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Was this the debut of Speed Force Thanksgiving? Uh, yes. Uh, so <laughs> That's Ru- like a concept that has yes. delighted me <laughs> I enjoyed ever that since. as well. <laughs> the idea that there's a Thanksgiving... There's a separate Thanksgiving in the Speed Force. inside the Speed Force. Yeah. Um, and apparently in one of the clips that we didn't play from this, I learn all of Rudy's backstory in the Speed Force. <laughs> like in the, oh, all the time right. that we spent together. That's so right. I have to remember that next time we do an episode you that I apparently again? know all you of it. better not cry. Um, and we found out uh, in our last episode, uh, in the, the Holiday Spectacular, right before these episodes, that uh, apparently Rudy is Jewish. So that's good to know. Oh, yeah. Judy North. Yeah, Judy, Judy North. <laughs> you don't think... You don't think... Is he the wandering Jew? What? Rudy North Rudy is the Nor- wandering Jew. Well, did now, you say that he's been alive since uh, Christ uh, died? I, since I 33? so, yeah. Did I say that? About the wandering said, Jew? Yeah. The wandering Jew was there for the crucifixion. That much we know. Right, and he's been wandering ever since then. Yeah. Oh, we got to ask him this. Do you think for the wandering Jew, like, did he know he was cursed at the time? Like, did Jesus- Or did up? he just, like, a year went by and he's like, no wrinkles yet. Awesome. No wrinkles yet. <laughs> we don't know that he doesn't age. That's true. Well, yeah, he might be 2,000 years die. old. Yeah, he might look like shit. <laughs> no wonder he's wandering around. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We got to find this guy. We got to find this. Where Jew. in the world is the, <laughs> the wandering Jew? Jew? <laughs> I feel uncomfortable saying Jew so much. Jew. <laughs> but it is the, the look, term. That's the that's what he calls himself. All right. He's a made up person. <laughs> it's me, the wandering Jew. <laughs> All right. Let's go to a break. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to get to it. Your number one episode of the year. Very, very exciting. Just to reiterate, if I'm not... In this episode, I will be furious. Yikes. All right. Real cliffhanger. We'll see you on the other side of this. <laughs> you guys traveling out there? Maybe during the holidays or uh, maybe not in the holidays. That's my favorite time to travel, not the holidays. Well, look, here's a little insider travel secret from our friends at Hotel Tonight. All around the world, every boy and every girl, <laughs> uh, there are tons of empty hotel rooms out there that are just waiting to be booked. They're empty. They're got, no one's going to sleep in them tonight. They're all out there. And Hotel Tonight has partnered with all of these awesome hotels to help them sell those unsold rooms, which means, oh, you're like, what? So what? They're just trying to sell me hotel rooms? No. You will get incredible deals because these hotel rooms are going to get unsold if you don't buy them. Seriously, if you love scoring amazing hotel deals, you just, you gotta try Hotel Tonight. Forget scrolling through never-ending lists of hotels. Hotel Tonight shows you a select list of incredible deals at cool hotels that they think that you will love. They even get, uh, or they give you a short profile of each hotel, complete with all the info you need and pictures of what the rooms actually look like. Not these fisheye lens-looking pictures. And... Here's something I found out. Their name is Hotel Tonight, but they don't just 
sell hotels for last minute bookings, you can book in advance. When I did it, I booked it three weeks in advance, I think. I went up to Santa Barbara, had a wonderful time. Perfect for spontaneous weekend getaways, three day weekends, staycations. That's what I did. I did a staycation. It was great. Now, I guess I did a vacation because I went away. Is it a staycation where you stay? In oh, I see. It was where you stay. No, I went to Santa Barbara. Anyway, road trips. That's what I was on. Business trips. I also did a little business. Booking a place with a pool. Yeah, I swam. I, I checked all these boxes here. Um, it was great. It was really easy. I found a great hotel I'd never stayed at. Um, just put in a few things of what I was looking for and had a wonderful time. To start scoring amazing deals at incredible hotels, here's what you have to do. You have to go to hoteltonight.com or do what I did, just download the app. Download the app right now if you like. Do it. Hotel Tonight. <laughs> How many days of podcast did Earwolf put out this year? Probably 365, right? Well, if you really count up the hours that they put out, okay, it's Earwolf published 1,785 episodes this year's, this year's, <laughs> which comes out to over 1,591 hours, which ends up being 66 days, if you just listen to it straight, of podcast listening. That sounds pretty daunting. I don't think you have time for that. I don't have time for that. You probably don't have time for it either. So how do you sift through and find the stuff that is really, really good? Well, all of the hosts and producers here at Earwolf chose their favorite episode of their show this year, and they made a playlist for you. Isn't that nice? Of all the best episodes of the year. So go see if your favorite episode made the cut and check out some new shows. What better place to start than what they consider to be the very best episode of the year? I picked a wonderfully silly episode of Comedy Bang Bang this year that I want you to go check out. And here's how you do it. Go to earwolf.com slash picks. That's P-I-C-K-S to see all of the selections. Again, that's earwolf.com slash picks. All of these episodes are out from behind the paywall and Stitcher Premium members, there is a special version of the playlist just for you. All you got to do is search Stitcher for Earwolf Pack Picks 2018. Thank you everyone for a great year of podcasts and we want to hear what you think your favorites are. Just tell us your favorite episode of 2018 with the hashtag Earwolf Picks. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang! And we ended the previous segment on a cliffhanger. <laughs> That's right. Uh... Paul F. If Previously on Best of Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> now, just to reiterate, if I am not on this episode, I will be furious. <laughs> All right. And why will you be furious? I'm glad you asked me that, Scott. What, what is it about? I know as human beings, we all want to be recognized yeah, we do. for what we do. We, do. we want to feel that our time on this earth was not for naught. That's right. Is that a hit? That's Did I just explain it? Oh, it? that's a big part of then it. Then explain the rest. I will explain the rest and thank and you for the giving rest. Me, thank you for giving me this platform. Great. I do and I do and I do for these people. Mm. And if they want to toss me aside now, <laughs> after all that I've done, after all and, you've done, and continue to do. <laughs> no, Paul, I, I will not be able to contain. Paul, they range. love what you do. They love what you do. Maybe they don't love it enough to vote it into the number yeah. one spot. Do you know how they prove that they love it? How? By voting it into the, the number, number one spot. spot. All right, all you right. You read my mind, Kretzkin. Well, look, I think it's time we get to it. It's time we get to your number one. Number one. Which, I will remind you, if I'm not in If you're not in you're going to be furious. Okay, what, okay. Do you remember the other episodes you did this year? I don't remember anything. <laughs> So then why do you think you, this, we may have gone through all of the episodes that you've done this year. We may have already breezed through them all and they were- uh, Breezed through them all. <laughs> what what episodes do you remember that you did this year? I remember when I played Breezed Through Them All. <laughs> breezed Through Them All. The Star Wars Now character. you have to do a character <laughs> called Breezed Through Them All. <laughs> that's how J.W. Stillwater happened. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah. yeah. Or was it? J.W. Stillwater yeah. was born that way? How yeah, was yeah. it? Well, that's how Big Chunky Bubbles was. Is y'all safe? It started, how, I started doing that voice on a best of. Oh, right. And then right. in January, we did that oh, show. Oh, yes. Yeah, so yeah, is all, oh, yeah. Is yeah. all safe. That's yeah. right, right, right. I heard a crime go. That's what it's that was <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. Good shit. We should do more of that stuff. We should. We should do what more. stuff? I don't know. <laughs> Just <laughs> fucking around until we find a character. How about this guy? Hi. 
I don't hate him. <laughs> He's not bad. I mean, I, I took a real risk there. Anyway, my point is yeah. I'm the best. You are the best. It needs to be recognized all the time. Well, what do you think then? Do you think that this episode is going to have you in it? If you had to guess, what is the top episode of the year? I'm not in the business of guessing. I'm just mm. going to say, if I'm not in this episode, mm. I will be furious. All right. Well, let me tell you that this is episode number 525. Uh-huh. Okay. Does that give you any sort of hints? Now, you may remember earlier on in our countdown, episode 524 was on it. Merry Chunky Christmas. It's not looking good, Scott. <laughs> not looking good? So 525, the very next week, what do you think it could be? The very next week. What song is that? I joined the, the in cat with came, The cat came back. The cat came back the very next day. The cat came. Did you sing that at camp? Somehow I sang that at camp. That I was like a big like campfire a thing. thing. The cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. We thought it was a goner, but the cat came back. He just, just couldn't stay away. away. Real jazzy for There goes the Spider-Man. 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 Let's do this. Uh, you sing Spider-Man and I'll sing Cat Came Back. Five, six, seven, eight. The cat Spider came Man. back the very Spider next Man. day. The cat does came back. We thought it was a goner. The cat came back. He just couldn't size. stay. The cat Catch came back. We thought it was a goner. Look the cat out. came back. He there just couldn't Spider stay Man. away. <laughs> I think Sam got a video of that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. Oh, uh, see, see now why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't the, I do it? Why wouldn't I be in the number one you, episode? I tell you, Paul. People plus, have said, I do these. People have said this every year. They said if we could vote on the best of episodes, they would be the most popular episodes of the year. People love these. Unfortunately, they are ineligible. <laughs> but look. This is episode 525. This is the episode oh, after, I know that, after Merry Chunky Christmas. What episode could it possibly be? I don't know. Happy Chunky New Year? No! How the fuck do I know? It is, of course, the 2017 Holiday Spectacular. Wait a minute. That's right. And Scott. let me tell you who's in this episode. We have Jason Manzukas, right. John Gabris, sure. Lauren Lapkus, uh -huh. Mike Hanford, yeah. James Adomian, uh -huh. Carl Tart, sure. Tony Newsome, I get it. Jeremy Rowley, Why not? Drew Tarver, yes. Neil Campbell, Ooh. the band Mr. Heavenly, <laughs> <laughs> and Paul F. Tompkins. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah. You're out of order! Devil's Advocate. Oh, I'm a scent of a woman. Power bottom, Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> if Al Pacino were to do a Christmas Carol, yeah, as Ebenezer Scrooge, would he play him as a power bottom? <laughs> oh, you'd have to. You'd have to. First of all, you'd have, if you respect the text, you'd have to. <laughs> you'd have to. You would. Uh, just, I, can you imagine anyone worse playing Ebenezer Scrooge? Okay. I mean, he would just shout, "Spirit." Rubber mustard! Get out of here! The I one as big as me, I sir? digested beef! <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> Awful. What, who has he played recently? Paterno? That's right. Who else? Returno. <laughs> Returno, Returno, of course. <laughs> uh, famous sequel. I think that's a sequel that's better than the original. <laughs> I think Returno is so much better than Paterno. <laughs> You played Paterno, you played uh, Kevorkian, you played <laughs> Phil Spector. What is it with this guy? He's just going to play like famous weirdos the rest of his life? He's got to play the jinx, oh. the jinx. He's got to play, play the jinx. jinx. The Al jinx. Pacino, he's got to play, play the jinx. He just couldn't stay away. <laughs> just couldn't stay, stay away. Blah, blah, blah. Um, this was a really fun episode to do. Um, as I talked about, uh, Mr. Heavenly. Yeah. Um, great band, uh, that, uh, engineer Brett plays in. That's right. He plays, uh, guitar or bass. I can't recall for that band. Well, um, the bass is, a bass is always a guitar, but a guitar is not always but, uh, a bass. We don't know. Um, they are playing and occasionally they will chime in, uh, and grind the episode to a halt. <laughs> 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 no, they're great. Um, before the clip we're going to hear... Uh, the, before the first clip we're going to hear, because we're going to hear several clips. Um, we can't play the whole thing. It's a two-hour, two-and-a-half-hour show. Uh, first, we talked to Jason Manzukas. 
Um, Lauren Lapkus playing Ho Ho the Naughty Elf is mm-hmm. there. Uh, John Gabris is playing intern Gino. Mm-hmm. He talks to us oh, for a he while. He does play Gino in this one? Yes, he does. <laughs> and Mike Hanford plays John Lennon, mm-hmm. who, uh, as we all know, if you have been listening to the show, uh, is the famous John Lennon who, after being dead for five years, decided to come back to life and is mm-hmm. now alive in New York City. Um, so we're, uh, we, before this clip, we have been talking to them, so they're all in the room. When we introduce Paul here, who is playing Mayor Junius Bubble Doonery. <laughs> That's right. Who is the tiny mayor who lives in the walls. That's right. And we find out something very surprising about mm-hmm. you in the first clip. That's right. Uh, something that I didn't remember about your uh, backstory. and uh, so About my backstory? About, well, just about your uh, Mayor Junius Bubble Doonery, just your identity. A fun fact about A it. A fun fact about yes. it. Yes. So we'll hear that. And then... Uh, the next clip that we're going to hear is uh, Carl Tart as MC Sugarbutt, who is a rapper <laughs> yeah. who went into a coma in the in around 1985 yes. and then woke up recently. So everything he says is in the style of rap from the early 80s. That's right. <laughs> and also James Adomian as Chris Matthews. And this is such a good impression that James does. And yes, it is. it was like killing us yeah. while he was doing it. Um, so those are the clips we're going to hear. Let's hear them. This is your episode number one. Number one. Uh, He is the mayor of, where are you a mayor of again? I'm the mayor of Inside the Wall. That old lady's here. I'm not, look. That is that old lady. I'm not an old lady. My voice isn't quavery at all. (laughs) Okay, fair enough. I'm just little. Got right. It. Please welcome back to the show, Mayor Junius Bobble Doonery. Hello, Mayor. Just Hello. my size. Oh. Hmm. Who is this creature? Ho-ho. This is Ho-Ho the Naughty Elf. Ho-Ho. So just for, just for the listener at home, can you guys describe the size disparity between the two of you? I'm the size of a dollar bill. And I'm slightly smaller than that. <laughs> Wonderful. A foreign Thank you. dollar. <laughs> like a euro? Like a... <laughs> He's not a coin. <laughs> Sorry. She got you there. Jeez. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> Zing. I know he's a pert. Jeez, Ho-Ho. Uh, Ho-Ho. You, you, Ho-Ho, you seemed, Ho-Ho. You seemed very intrigued when you saw someone that's uh, just a little bit smaller than you. Just my size. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, you know, there are certain similarities between this race of creature and my own. Mr. Mayor, just as a heads up, you're standing ankle deep in what I think is ho-ho cum. So just as a heads up. It's snow. snow? (laughs) Yeah, but I, it did come from the tip of his peep. (laughs) That candy cane? (laughs) I guess it's still out. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about. (laughs) You know, it sounds like he's fine with it. (laughs) It doesn't seem to bother him. (laughs) It's snow and a candy cane. I mean, what's what's the big deal? This is great. Uh, You You should get tested. Where are you from? (laughs) I'm from inside the walls. (laughs) Why is that so horrible to you? It's creepy. Well, you're from this weird old house up in the North Pole. That's Um, creepy to some. People love the North Pole. They talk about it for their whole life. Their whole life? Yeah. I mean, at best, maybe like a week at the end of the year. You're talking about it now. (laughs) Well, it's a week at the end of the year. He's got, oh. (laughs) Do people live inside uh, the walls along with you or just you? Yes, though I'm part of a race of people that live inside the walls. Of which he's the mayor. I am the Whoa. mayor of them. And and how many uh, people do you govern? Oh, untold millions. <laughs> untold millions? Yes. So this Holy is cow. all walls all over the world. All walls all over oh, really? the world. Oh, really? lots of space. No, no gerrymandering with all these walls? How dare you? <laughs> well, and can I ask you as a mayor, Yes. do you oversee a small number of those millions? Is Or is mayor the highest uh, level of political office That's in the question. wall people? Yeah, how high does this go up? <laughs> As far as the presidency? Follow the money, Scott. Follow is the money, a- which, as I've established before, is cookies. Our <laughs> currency is cookies. Right, by the way. Oh, do now, you- do you mean cocaine? Because these guys over here say if you say cookies, it could mean cocaine. That's true. Cookies is slang for cocaine where I come from. Oh, wait. But it also means money, which it also means actual cookies. Oh, okay. Actual I, I, cookies. Here, here are some holiday currency. cookies, by the way. Here's some holiday cookies. Oh, thank you. you. Oh, I'm rich. They're in a plastic bag, so oh, just be careful. Let me just unwrap them. Oh, oh, God. Do you eat the money or do you just spend it? And you think cookies are good in your land or that is that not edible because it's money? It gets confusing because we're... Spending cookies to buy cookies to eat. <laughs> right. So are, are there eating cookies and spending cookies? It's all the same, but you have to be specific how when many, you're exchanging them. How many cookies this, can I'm giving you this? How many so cookies does that. one cookie buy you? It's, it's a one to one. Are there any? <laughs> is there any system. other food besides no, no, cookies? No, it's not. It's not a trading system. <laughs> 
Well, there is other food, but there food is. that we get from humans when they're asleep. <laughs> okay, but that's okay. So, so there are you're not you're not forced Solely to subsiding eat. on yes. Cookies. So no, you're forced I mean, to you, eat your income. You shouldn't. You shouldn't just eat cookies. Yeah. I mean, you should eat other stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, are there good cookies and bad cookies? Like, are there some cookies that people go, oh god, not butter cookies? Yeah, it's fucking cookies. What do you? Right. What do you of course mean? There are good but, and bad so, cookies. would you trade a bad cookie I'm and sorry. get a good? cookie? Do you think we're not discerning at all? <laughs> Just any cookie is great. Everything about you is different, so well, I want to know what these differences everything. are, Mr. Mayor. I do just want to say that Scott speaks only for himself. <laughs> Thank you very much. And that I consider you and your population to have probably even the most discerning taste. All right. So, what would you consider being a discerning little person uh, to be a poor tasting cookie? Um, Bitzels, any of those Italian cookies that all taste right. like licorice. Right. Okay. So, but don't like them. If you get you one of dip those, them in espresso. That's the trick. Though. <laughs> if if you, well, it's turning into work. I just want to eat a cookie. No, that's Fair just enough. Gina or just learned that cookie. on a Perillo tours. To Italy. I was on Perillo tours. <laughs> What's that? Did someone say Perillo? <laughs> <laughs> So if you acquire one of these cookies, one of these poor tasting yes, cookies. Yes, if I bought a cookie. Are you allowed to sp- to ex- spend it and buy a good tasting cookie? Yes, there's some weirdo who wants that cookie. But here's the thing. Mm-hmm. If I am unfortunate enough to have bought a poor tasting cookie, well, that's an eating cookie. That's and I'm just e- stuck with it. <laughs> because that was the arrangement that was decided upon. And how long does it take you to eat one poor tasting cookie? Not, it's not fast. <laughs> right. You Can can't I- just switch that into a spending cookie? <laughs> Can I? What the whole system would break down. Oh my God, he's getting red in the face. I have a question. (laughs) If you've got a cookie in your bag, you know, like a a, a good my cookie bag, a good spending cookie, which by the way is as big as you. That's right. So now, let's say you take a nasty tumble and you open up your bag and your cookie. Yeah, heaven forbid. Is in is in crumbles. It's all crumbs now. Because tumble, sometimes your money's all in crumbs. Lennon's yeah. writing Thank a song. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. Oh, what Get him I a guitar. A Mr. Heavenly, give <laughs> him a guitar. Yeah, send me that bass. I want to try that thing out. I can't touch my bass. Oh, wait a minute. He's putting it on and oh, Nick just. <laughs> oh, hey. Do the, it at the Paul Gotti School of Bass. Um, does good. that crumbled cookie retain its value as crumbs or no? It's changed now. It is. It's like pocket change? Yes. And way it's like one of our human dollars if it shatters. It's just as change. Is <laughs> sorry. Continue with your story. <laughs> Is each crumb equal? Uh, so, like, if it breaks into five, uh, I'd like crumbs, to pursue what John was talking about. <laughs> you know, when you have a dollar bill, <laughs> sure, and it's out in the cold, <laughs> appropriate because it's a ho- holiday special, and you drop it on the ground, it shatters and <laughs> change. <laughs> Maybe that's never happened to anyone here. I guess I've never tried it. A frozen dollar bill? Yeah, just, uh, just shatters into just dimes. Just shatters into dimes. <laughs> and you'd shake those and they shatter into what's, pennies. What's the temperature at which paper freezes? <laughs> I think. And, I, and look, and I'm no... <laughs> Mayor, can you tell us about your outfit? Because it's so weird. What? I don't see how it's so weird. I'm merely wearing my cutaway coat with mayoral sash, my striped trousers, and my top hat. <laughs> Right, oh, no, okay. no, no shirt. Makes sense. <laughs> no, no shirt, shirt. None, just none, none taken. No shoes. <laughs> no service. <laughs> You're standing barefoot in what is definitely elf cum, my friend. Seriously. He doesn't get, have a problem with please get it. Please get it. It feels ice. like, it feels like it. snow. I don't know what to tell you. You are, your, your feet are blistering actively. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> Do you like blistery feet? Yeah. Oh, oh, I like anything nasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I believe you had a question about the crubs. Well, well, sure. Are they are are they equally divisible? Are they are they worth uh, one crumb a piece? No, the crumbs. You have to count the crumbs from a crumbled cookie. Okay. To determine what the worth of each crumb is. That's okay. So theater if there's... warm up. Count the crumbs from a crumbled cookie. To determine what the worth is. Count the crumbs from a crumbled cookie. To determine what the worth is. I'm Why are you on. warming up your voice? Because <laughs> I'm going on stage. <laughs> what are you doing? What's, really? What's the play? Really? What's the play? My life in pieces. Where? Is it about a dollar bill? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it's it's always fascinating to have two people of the same size here in uh, Is the it? studio. That's yeah. fascinating to you. I mean, how often does it happen? <laughs> well, I mean, usually it I'm like lining up every guest back to back just to see. And usually people are like, one's 5'10", one's 5'11". You know, you we're not ever... the same. He's smaller than I'm me. I'm smaller than he. Well, Slightly, <laughs> but... Uh, okay, so, but, no, but just as much. Your size, it's all the same. No, see, that's not true. Stop lining us up back to back. Scott is like Requiem for a Dream. You want to be front to front? (laughs) 
Line and us not... up front to front. Front, front butt to front, to front, front butt. To front. No, front to back. I'm just happy oh, yeah. that in the, event back. Of, in the event of a fire drill, I'm the first out the door. Why is that? I'm the smallest. Okay. It should go smallest to tallest. Yeah, but I, it's going to take you such a long time. You have such a short stride. I would I'm think very that the, spry. I'll be honest. Really? How fast can you run? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Hold on, I love it. I didn't even have time I'm to get a stopwatch out. <laughs> wow, that is incredibly okay, quick. Okay, I'll come back. Beep. See. Oh, my God. How, that was like eight, 70, 80 miles an hour. Something like that. That's above what Sammy Hagar would do. <laughs> what do you mean? Because he can't He's drive. Like, he tops miles? out at 60 or so. <laughs> oh, I thought it was that. I thought I can't drive 55 means he never got up to 55. <laughs> I thought he was always at 54 or 56. He just couldn't get yeah. it right. He, Cruise control He style. just wants to get it. <laughs> At 55. Hey, I think it was this, the original draft was like, I can't drive 55. I heard it turns out he had a marble under the accelerator, <laughs> so it wouldn't go all the way down. Really? Yeah. Who put it there, a little person? He made me. <laughs> <laughs> so what are, what are your traditions during the holidays? Well, during the holidays, of course, we like to move out of the walls and into gingerbread houses. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that why we make them? I, I guess I never realized why. Yes, we... it's an ancient pact between humans and our people. Really? Yes. I, yeah. I've always done it for fun. What? Maybe that's what you thought. Well, sure, yeah. I guess I never realized the reason. You know how when you're making a gingerbread house? Sure. And your mind goes blank, <laughs> and you're just like a robot that's been taken <laughs> over by another consciousness? Oh, gosh. I and guess. then when you're done, there's uh -huh. a gingerbread house there? Sure. Yep. Commonly known as the gingerbread fugue state. <laughs> that's right. That's because of us. <laughs> You're welcome, and we thank you. And why do you like to do this? I mean, it seems like uh, if you had to be displaced, it would be unpleasant. Well, it's not that. We're not going that far. It's just from the walls to the gingerbread house. Sure, what? but I mean, in accordance to your size, that's like, you know, me moving two blocks away. It would still be an inconvenience. Okay. You're you're getting really hung up on scale. Yeah. <laughs> I know you can move fast. Is yeah. gingerbread considered a cookie? Is it like opulent for you guys to be living in? Uh, the, yeah, it's it's that, like living in a mansion. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. It's because like living in a house made of, solid of dollar gold. bills. Yes, yeah. exactly. You got a gold mm. toilet. <laughs> Or, or do you have a gingerbread toilet? toilet? We have a cupcake Sprinkle. toilet. <laughs> Wait, are cupcakes <laughs> currency as well? There's no, no hole in a cupcake. <laughs> no, they're not. They're just very comfortable. But you sit on a soft toilet. Yeah, why not? Because then the, By the way, that just goes great. in your butt. <laughs> What? <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, there's, there's so the poop just ho ho goes in your butt. There's a hole. There's, it's okay. not, there is a hole. Yes. Okay. I just we have a hole in the middle. The seat is a cupcake. <laughs> got it. Got yeah. it. I've never been there. Can I ask you, you a question? Come sometime. How kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'd see a different way of life that you could enjoy. Mm, well, what's wrong with my life? Well, Prostitutes in motels all night long, baby. <laughs> laying on a cockroach, rolling across too? the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Few of us do, I think. <laughs> What was your question, Jason? Santa oh. baby. <laughs> when you live inside the walls, are you living in houses in the walls or no? Are no, they, it's is that not why you're... houses. It's like little platforms and platforms. stuff. So it's not, not very convenient. Why not actually. have like uh, why not have us make permanent housing for you? Jason, can I stop you right there? We please do. The last time I was here. This was covered. I, this was my well, this is my parting words to everyone. Please, humans, consider putting Working plumbing in dollhouses. <laughs> <laughs> it would make things so much easier for everybody. Uh-huh. But mean, just a dollhouse, keep it all the same, yep. but put a working shower, sink, toilet in there. Oh, yeah. I've been fooled a few times by those. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing going what do you mean? dollhouses? In dollhouses? Yeah, just an emergency. You know, my, my stepdad's in the can, and I, gotta, I look around, all that's left. You, know, <laughs> you, <laughs> you ever been at a Home Depot, and, you know, you're just like, oh, thank God, I got a shit so bad. <laughs> then you realize you're on a display toilet in the middle of an aisle? No. Me neither. <laughs> You ever walk down that door aisle and you keep opening the doors because you think there's a hundred rooms? I'm screaming, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Ever, I use the uh, Home Depot door section as my mind palace to help me remember things. <laughs> you ever Sherlock go over your style? friend's house to eat and the food just ain't no good? What, well, what do you mean? Like the macaroni soggy? The peas are mushy. What's the chicken taste like? Wood. <laughs> This is ringing a bell to me for some reason. I can't recall why. It's the season. <laughs> oh, that's right. Rings a jingle bell. Um, How do you feel, sir, if I may ask, about please. the borrowers? I, now, let me say. Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh, oh boy. man. We talked about this last time. We did. Oh, okay. Oh. I figured it might have come up. Yeah, I know this is a sore spot. Here's what I don't like. Borrowers if I brought up it's okay. It's okay. I get this a lot. Here's what I don't like. The borrowers. <laughs> the littles. Yep. Uh, Stuart Little? 
hate him. Really? <laughs> it's weird. Isn't that a mouse? Yes. It's gross. But it's he's, he's regular vermin. mouse size. He's vermin. Wait, but there's there must be plenty of bugs and vermin where you guys live, right? Yeah, we don't like them. Do it's you? It's the same size as you. It's like you seeing a bear, Scott. I love bears. <laughs> What about the Indian in the We're cupboard? not talking about Oh, uh, search terms again? Not Sorry. a fan. We're not, talking not, about a not a fan. Right. John Lennon hung his candy cane on his microphone. I was going to eat it later. <laughs> so you put it on your microphone to remind you? No, I, I started eating it. Oh. <laughs> and then I, you know, I can't eat the whole thing. And you don't want to put it upon the table because, right, because germs may stick to it. Oh, there's ink everywhere. Right, of course, right. yeah. Um, I wanted to ask a question of the mayor. To the mayor. Please, For feel mayor. free to ask it to and of me. What, what is the name of your people again? Did we ever find that out? Um, <laughs> no, you know, I hadn't, uh, I hadn't mentioned that. Uh, I don't think it's important. Wait, the name, what was it? The name of your people? Yeah, I don't right. think that's important. Nobody needs to know no, that. Hey, no, we're talking. humans. Are you human? Yeah. Or just a small human? Soul eater. Soul eater? Soul eater? Did you say soul, soul eater? eater? Y- yes. Wait a minute. Soul eater. Soul eater. We're called soul eaters. Are you soul eaters? Do you yes. Eat? Do you eat? I think that's a the skateboard. Soul? Do you remember how I said we eat cookies? We love cookies. Oh, well, the soul eaters. Yes. Cookie. Uh, but you, you also said you don't eat those exclusively. Are you eating souls? human beings' we're not, souls? Okay, look. We're not eating, like, the, all of the soul. It's just enough. We're little. We're little. It's just enough to get by. Kill him! No, wait, hey, get him! Wait, wait, no, hold on. Get him! Lock, lock, lock him up! Lock, lock, lock him up! Woo! Hold him down! <laughs> I'm over here! Let him grab oh, candy He's too fast! <laughs> he's too fast! If I gotta get out of here, I need this candy cane with He's been on the show before, and it's wonderful to have him back. Let's first welcome MC Sugarbutt. How are you? A get on up and a get on down. <laughs> Sugarbutt is in your Christmas town. Oh, very good, MC right. Sugarbutt. It's snowing. Uh, it's snowing. It's snowing, snowing, and snowing. Uh, Scotty Z, how you be? Uh, I'm good. It's actually not snow. It's ho ho cum. Hey, so. oh, ho so cum. Ho ho cum like coke and rum. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a good song. I also want to welcome, uh, I don't believe he's ever been on the show before, but no, he is. No, been fair. Long time, first time. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> He's currently uh, has Big a show. Sh- Mr. Massage, Mr. Massage. Mr. Massage. Currently on Hardball. MSNBC, uh, he, the host of Hardball. Please welcome Chris Matthews. Chris Matthews, Cockerman, it's great to be here. What are your thoughts on politics? <laughs> Uh, it's, it's very political. What a political okay. year it's been. <laughs> See, you dodged a question there. Where do you think Quinnipiac poll has you at 12 points? You think I said uh, representative of polls? Quinnipiac? <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're have saying. Have you ever but... suffered a Quinnipiac? Have I ever suffered a Quinnipiac? Yes, that's valid. Answer that one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever suffered from one, no. Uh, You'd know it if you had. <laughs> yeah. Quinnipiac is a certain kind of stroke that broadcasters get at 12 in a day. <laughs> oh, is that what they're talking about when they talk about the Quinnipiac poll? The Quinnipiac poll, yes. Yeah, well, it's so good to see you. Uh, it's, it's great to be here. You know, when you come, when you think of podcasting, your legendary Tip O'Neill once said, we got to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. And MC, MC Sugarbutt, uh, you are a musician, and John Lennon here is a musician. Yeah. Ooh, a John Lennon. Yeah, John yeah. Lennon. What, what, he was uh, a part of the doors. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah! You see, that's why I bring it up, because not everyone knows what band I was part of. I was part of a European rock band. The doors were in America. Who? <laughs> You brought him up first. <laughs> uh, behind you there is a, another American band, Mr. Heavenly. Mr. Heavenly, not in hell. People in jail go to sleep. <laughs> oh, boy. It, his, his rhymes aren't wrong. <laughs> uh, the best way to pass the time when you're in jail. Just yeah. sleep. MC Sugar Butter, you known for your freestyles? You know, I'm known all across the world to all the pretty girls about all the raps that you ever did see. <laughs> I, I like that line because it didn't rhyme. I know. But I love it. You, you have a lot of trouble sticking the landing. <laughs> you know what, though? Keep going. I think you're going to get there. Ooh, uh, is that Jason Mann <laughs> over there? Jason Mann shouts out. <laughs> Oh, I'm just saying hello. That just, that just ended. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. It's a, sh- it's a sugar bun. If you're, done with the, if you're done with the primary, will you run third party? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> if you're done with the primary, will you run third party? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's real indent. I'm going to run for independent. <laughs> oh, very good. It's real indent? Yeah. You, you never got heard the rhyme independent. 
I know you're not supposed to ride the same word twice, but apparently you can just take ladders out. That's valid. <laughs> no, indent space in front of a paragraph. <laughs> That's real tall. Is that a giraffe? Do you go, do you go, <laughs> hey, it's getting better. Do you go double space? Oh, got that do, giraffe do, in here. Do you double space your documents? <laughs> Always double space. <laughs> Makes the pages longer. <laughs> and he's back. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chris Matthews, a lot going on oh. this year. That's safe to say, right? This is a fantastic year. It's a wonderful year for politics. You got Vladimir Putin entering the thing? <laughs> I mean, uh, Vladimir Putin polling number number one in New Hampshire primary across five polls. That's true. The outlier is Zogby. Where do we cut down Zogby, Mayor Julius? <laughs> that's true. Yeah. I guess you, so. you register the Zogby poll, point four. Yes, well, that's those polls. Look, it's early days, and I don't think this is the time. To be paying attention to polls, certainly not the Zogby poll. What? Okay, it sounds like a guy who's running for office or trying to dodge some kind of scandal. He, well, he is trying to dodge a scandal. He's he's admitted to eating souls of evil people. Uh, well, maybe he could take over for Joe Scarborough when he's done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's his band doing? <laughs> I think it's fun. You know what? I actually I, I go sometimes. I get a nice ale. I drink about half of it. <laughs> <laughs> You ever see me on MSNBC where it's just me broadcasting in front of like a town hall, people walking around voting and stuff? That's all fake. There's cops all over the place making sure nobody gets in front of me. Cool. <laughs> well, Good great. way of revealing that band. <laughs> The I just wanted John, John Lennon. John Lennon, oh, yeah. you, you were shot. You shot me a hat. Did you ever? Did you ever? Did you ever uh, complain to Mayor John Lindsay of New York City? Uh, crime, crime and punishment. At the time? Uh, I said this Crack type down, of stuff can't crime? happen. It can't happen to a guy like me. If it happens to me, it can happen to anyone. Are you the walrus? Like I don't need to talk about. It. I don't think we need to answer that right here, right now. I'll talk to you about that off the air. It's okay, very John Lennon, that, that yeah. dodging the question in there must hurt. Get shot in the back like that. Would you pretty shot in the front? Would that be better? I, <laughs> you know, I, th I think I would have. I would like to have seen it coming. But there, there would be a danger of you getting shot in the nuts, though, if you, it was from that's the front. That's true. That is very true. You that, get yeah. shot in the nuts from behind. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I guess if they're swinging. If you got, if you got a nice. Do you wear tiny whiteies? Or? I was at the time when I got shot. Thank God I wasn't shot in the nuts. I was walking around the streets with my pants down. You were. Right. They don't talk about that. They tell don't me, talk John about Lennon, that. And tell me slow. Do your nuts hang down real low? <laughs> tell them really yeah, slow. Tell them slow. I'll tell you slow. <laughs> okay. Let's really take our time with this. Okay. In the winter time, uh -huh. when I'm pantsless in New York City, <laughs> get on down. They drag on the cold con crease. Burn, that's burn. In the, burn. In the winter. Keeping an eye on my nuts, dragging by my window. That was a classic Beatles number right there. Was it B-side, C-side, or D-side? That was a D. Wow, my gosh. I have to go. I'm hungry. Oh, really? Okay, Ho-Ho. It's always Hello, nice to see bye. you. Bye. Merry Christmas. Fuck you. Whoa. Strong oh, words wow. from Ho-Ho. Head headphones. All right, so uh, you, you didn't get a chance to interrogate Ho-Ho, but uh, did you ever get a present as a child uh, during the winter times? Well, sure. I got a bunch of, um, I got a bunch of buttons to uh, re-elect Eisenhower. <laughs> Ike Eisenhower. I say Eisenhower buttons. Uh, buttons uh, supporting him. Sure, or? I used to have. A, I used. To, I was a founding member of the Scoop Jackson fan club when I was in junior <laughs> high school. Wait, wait. Found, who else do you want me to reach back to from back then? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, uh, what, what, like, I, if three more names would be great just to place you in time. Well, Teddy Kennedy was fantastic. <laughs> just have Teddy Kennedy crisps. I need them for breakfast. Teddy Kennedy crisps. This is post Chappaquiddick? Well, yeah, you were supposed to just, you were supposed to knock the cereal all over and it almost drowned. Some of them would drown, but then some of them would swim back and testify, and then you could eat your bowl of cereal, Congress. <laughs> My gosh, I understand about every third word you're saying, but I, it's that's, fascinating. You know it's what? Plenty. That's politics. It's just going to go over some people's heads, and about people being involved, be involved, can be involved. <laughs> MC Sugar, but how do you spend the holidays? I spend the holidays with my fam. He's sitting right there. It's Jason Mann. That's my yeah. cousin. Your your fam your family uh, not related by blood, are you? Not related by blood. Not related by flesh. 
Hey, you looking real French. <laughs> Is that deodorant under your arms? Yeah, it's a little bit. I put on a little splash this morning. Hell cool yeah. water brand deodorant. We, cool. I mean, Gino, always wearing a tank top. I gotta have a tank top. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> Sky's out, thighs out. Ooh. Get them going. You could try to get by, but you gotta get trapped. How many, how many tattoos do you have, Gino? <laughs> I have one tattoo, and it's of the uh, island of which I was born. Yeah. Long oh, Island, okay. Iceland, fantastic airport. <laughs> Love that airport. Really? You right spend next a lot of to a cemetery there? where my dad's buried. Do you go? To I only fly into and out of Iceland. Everywhere else I go, it's sell a train, damn track. Wait, are you also being a human table at Palm Springs as well? Or are yeah. you going into the Palm Springs airport? <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure. If you need me a Palm Springs airport, but I'm going to take the Acela train there, and it doesn't run there. So I'm able to jump it off the tracks and just run it. It's, it's not like, like, like a freight, freight I've got car a jumper. special loud car. I was, look, i got special privileges because I have was, a loud car. I was, yes, there's a quiet car in most yep. Amtrak trains. I have the loud car. I just sit in the front and I go, hey, politics! <laughs> <laughs> All the have windows ever, are down. Have you the ever, yeah, the windows are down. Have you ever cleared cattle just from just sheer drool and volume? <laughs> I have special privileges to Amtrak. I was born in the Acela trade somewhere with Chesapeake Bay. You were? <laughs> How many years ago now? How old of a man are I? I look at you sometimes on television and I can't tell exactly your age. Well, it's, it's, that's intentional. It's intentional. You know, people have this vanity. You want to look a little bit younger. So I froze myself at 60. Ooh, you froze yourself. Yeah, I think that was my peak. So I just always want to look like a six-year-old man, vibrant. Right. Okay. So you're uh, you're you're above that, but you you look. No, I'm less. I'm youthening like Merlin. Oh, really? <laughs> I just think the gravitas is so. He's six years old. Really, you lend yourself to you know the fourth estate. How do you right. feel about like the current environment we're in? A lot of guys in media, a lot of guys in your world. Yeah, being are, taken down. Are you yeah. any fear That's of that? Great. From More you? room for Chris. More room for Chris. <laughs> Wait, your show is expanding. The halls expanding, are empty. Though. MSNBC. Very, very few people walking around. A lot less contact physically between people. <laughs> That's good. More room for Chris. You know, I, didn't, Wait, I never is liked more the... room for Chris. The name of a show you're doing? That's my weekend show. <laughs> more room for Chris. What do you talk it's about? My the... weekend fill-in show or late night show. They do if there's like anybody. Bam, off the air. Chris Matthews fills in. More room for Chris. Is, is that about politics or about local no, interests? It's, it's about local interests. It's about, you know, just school issues, education, <laughs> b- bar reviews, Yelp. Look at any Yelp. <laughs> really? You just go on Yelp and I read reviews? I go on Yelp, and I don't even necessarily vocalize. It's just me clicking through Yelp. <laughs> when you walked in, I didn't think your face could get any redder, but I was way wrong. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Chris. You okay, pal? Sure, yeah. I'm living a diet of radishes and strawberry juice. <laughs> it's very Christmassy. <laughs> yeah. It's um, festive. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Any plans for the holidays? What's the controversy? ACLU said you shouldn't have a Christmas parade. You're going to go ahead with it anyway, eat the flesh? We are going to have a Christmas parade, as we always do, uh, mimicking human behavior. That's what we do. Where, where does this have, parade occur? Because you're in gingerbread it's houses It's inside the month. goddamn walls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so even so, when you're in living in gingerbread houses, we you do the parade in, do in the, the parade. Walls. Yeah, wow. yeah. It's 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 a hassle. It's what a hassle. happens if if a human, uh, a full size human, catches sight of you? Like, because I've never seen. So you're the first person of your kind that I've ever seen. Is that so? Oh, yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it was it was quite here? a surprise when we saw you anybody. for the first time. We're yeah. out there all the time. We well, never I've see you. So never uh, seen you. Why Adlai you? Stevens is was surprisingly <laughs> diminutive. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not talking about him. We're talking. He, no, was, he was considerably much taller. Than, he is like the size of a of a, a, of a dollar euro, bill, of, of but a not euro. a coin. Small, smaller than a dollar. Bill. Smaller than a dollar bill. Foreign policy question. Shoot, <laughs> asbestos. Where do you come down? I think that asbestos that foreign policy? is. <laughs> He's in the walls. Asbestos is a big country. deal. It's in other walls. Okay. All right. <laughs> asbestos is an issue that is considered the third rail. In politics, where I come from. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're um, real. They're really full, huge full. You, this you gets can't, me going. You can't win talking about it. You can't Mind win for it. Can't win Express, huh? Also, a very good bar. <laughs> it, it is, sure. Bar. One of the stations down there, yeah. Union Station or yeah, Freedom how, Station. How many stars on Yelp? Stars on Yelp? Yeah, stars on Yelp. Six and a half stars on Yelp. <laughs> wow. Six and a half. What, That's amazing. What Yelp you know are you the using? Third, the third rail gets an unfair reputation. Go down. Just touch it. Lick it sometime. It's a little shock. It's like a battery. <laughs> MC Sugarbutt, you ever lick anything you shouldn't have? Ooh. I'm <laughs> glad. That's a great Q-U-E, Scotty D. I'm going to answer it for now for you and me. <laughs> My Scotty. middle name is David, so and he knows that. <laughs> We talked about it before. <laughs> Most of the time when I'm licking things that I shouldn't be licking, 
I'm getting ready to do a sticking. <laughs> Some magicians be doing trickings. <laughs> it's a note to the editor. Just take out the gears grinding a little bit. <laughs> no, keep the gears. I'm all ears. Listening to you and all my fears. I'm scared of snakes. I'm scared of bats. I'm scared of roaches. I'm scared of rats. You live in the walls? Damn, that's tall. But you're not. <laughs> That was the longest. That was the best one. The longest he's ever gone. Number one. Oh boy, so I mean, good. There it is. That's why I'm number one. After these, you're number one. <laughs> <laughs> After those clips, then uh, we hear um, Tawny as Gary Urbanski, mm-hmm. um, and then uh, Drew Tarver and uh, Jeremy Rowley as Keith and Ming talk to us for a bit, and uh, then uh, Neil Campbell comes in as Ernie Bread. Um, yeah, what was this thing? Ernie Bread was self. Uh, he he he's a guy who <laughs> lo- who who is <laughs> plays at the pond across the street with ducks and came in saying that he was a fan favorite character, <laughs> but he was really just a guy who wanted to come in. <laughs> Ernie Bread. By the way, his name is Ernie Bread. The thing you throw at ducks, <laughs> and his catchphrase is "Does a duck quack?" <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Funny stuff. I almost included that <laughs> clip, but um, when I listen to it back, it's really funny. And then kind of kind of other stuff happens. It doesn't have like a definitive ending, but it's a really funny episode. So listen to the whole thing. Um, or and, be damned. Or be damned. And that is our countdown. Um, like I said, over 35,000 votes. And let's, let's run through some stats here. Okay. Oh. Um, who's in the most episodes that ended up in our countdown? Paul, you will be surprised to know you were in seven episodes in our countdown this Lucky year. Lucky seven. You only performed in nine. And seven of those are in our top 14. Wow. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. You, uh, The ones that didn't make it are where you played J.W. Stillwater and Sheevil Knievel. <laughs> she another one that I forgot devil. about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Another one I'd love to talk to again. Uh, but you are, you are, you are in the most episodes, uh, in seven. Um, Jason Manzukas is in the second most in four of the top 14 episodes. Mm-hmm. Lauren Lapkus is in three of them. And then appearing in two episodes are Thomas Middleditch, Ego Wodim, Carl Tart, Drew Tarver, Tawny Newsom, Sean Diston, and Mary Holland. Mm. Those are all, uh, two episodes. I really enjoyed, this year's countdown and the the clips that you all voted for because um, there there was like a lot of variety in it and pe- and new people that that have not been on the show and not been in previous countdowns. I remember there were like two years that John Gabrus was on the show that just his episodes weren't ending up in the top ten and. Um, then I think I t- we talked about him on one of these best ofs mm-hmm. and said, oh, man, he's so great. People should be voting for him. So he's been voted in since then. Um, but it's just great to get the uh, the new talent into the show. Um, I think I t- and I think I talked about uh, this last uh, best ofs. Uh, I said that this this year, 2018, was going to be a transitional year for Comedy Bang Bang. I don't know if you remember this at all. I do remember it. And basically, I was trying to transition you out of the top 10. That's what I remember. <laughs> and um, did not work. Couldn't do it. <laughs> no, I, and let me explain that for a bit because I think, you know, people started to think, oh, I, I'm ending the show. Uh, what's going on? And basically, I don't know if you recall, uh, Paul, but when we were taping these last year, it was right before the holidays. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was kind of freaking out a little bit in terms of my schedule. Mm-hmm. We went out to lunch in the middle of them. And I talked to you a little bit about it. I had a a big uh, work project that was coming up um, that was fairly overwhelming to me and was about to start. Mm. And um, I was looking at the schedule and I was like – I don't know if I can do it for the, uh, looking at the schedule for this show and yeah. and saying I don't know if I can do it and I, build a ship in a bottle. Exactly. I mean, those are my three <laughs> passions. Whatever this project is, 
doing the oh, show. I thought the ship in the bottle was the project. No, no. Oh, you had a whole other thing. I had a whole other thing. Oh, Scott, I'm so no, sorry. No, I'll never stop building those ships I'm and bottles. I'm so sorry. I I was giving you such a hard time. I was like, <laughs> no, I did those ships and bottles. No, no, I did all the. Yeah, I built 27 this year. Congratulations. Thank you so much. New um, so anyway, so I was talking to you about it at the lunch, and I was kind of like, I don't know what to do. Uh, I was asking you if you wanted to maybe guest host some stuff. I was just really looking at the schedule, and I was freaking out about it. Um, and so I had some plans of what to do uh, this year of how, how to achieve doing it, or maybe I was thinking of even going on hiatus. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. So uh, anyway, to just make a long story short, the uh, the thing I was doing got postponed a couple of months, and um, I worked it out. You were like, great news. Great, great. My thing got spawned. <laughs> Business as, as per usual. Well, not, the, the good thing about it was it got postponed to the extent that we had already been recording Freedom, which is our other show that we do here on the Earwolf Network. That's right. We had recorded maybe seven or eight out of the ten that we were going to do. Mm-hmm. By the time that that this had come up, and um, so with the postponement, I was able to uh, finish those out, but also do sixteen more of those with you guys, which was great. So we did twenty six episodes of those, and those are currently airing for free on Earwolf on Thursdays. But then I was able to do; I had already recorded maybe eight REM episodes up to then, and mm. I was able. We were, I think, we did like 30 of those or something. Mm -hmm. No, maybe it wasn't that much, but we did. Yeah. I think we did. Might might have done 30 of those or something. So I was able to work out my schedule. Everything's fine. It Uh, almost sounds like you didn't know what the fuck you were talking about. Well, at the time I did know what I was talking about, but then circumstances changed. I did 30 episodes of this (laughs) REM podcast. No, but, (laughs) but really the thing about the show is that every year in a sense is a transitional year for the show because I want to keep having new people on. And, you know, some of the, sometimes people are like, who is this? Anytime there's a new person or they go, oh, they don't get it or whatever. Mm. But that's very important to me is, is you know, if it was just the same people that, that we started with nine years ago, mm. <laughs> how insane would that be? Yeah. If it was. I mean, obviously, Paul, uh, uh, you know, you've been here the entire time, almost 10 years at this point, um, And there are certain people, but everyone just gets busier. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Paul, you only did nine episodes this year. Uh, yeah, that's true. It is true. You, That's uh, true. At a certain point, you were doing at least one a month. Uh, yeah. At some point, yeah, so yeah. you know, just every you know, everyone gets really busy, and so that's but that's a really important part of the show to me is to find new people to be on it. And I love hearing the new people being so high up in the countdown. Uh, you know, having Carl and Ego's uh, episode at number three is yeah. just you know fantastic. That's terrific. Um, and so you know. I, I think 2019 is going to be a transitional year for the show, and we're just going to keep trying new stuff. It's going to be our 10th anniversary, and that's exciting. That's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. 10 trips around this great big ball of fire that we call the sun. <laughs> what? No, you're right. We do call it that. We just, <laughs> why? What do you, what do you no, call I, it? I, soul. So you, you worship it, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know that. You're a soul worshiper. Yeah. Oh, by the way, soul eater is the thing that we found out about Mayor Junior's he souls. Bubble. Yeah. He eats souls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd forgotten that aspect <laughs> of it. Um, and anyway, uh, in any case, rather. Uh, in any event. In any event, uh, whatever you need to say. I have no intentions of stopping the show. Um, I think Rudy North uh, the, the last week said something like, don't stop the show or something, you know, because Sean is like listens to it and is like yeah. a fan of it. I'm not stopping the show. I think he was fanning the flames about this transitional year thing. <laughs> but I have no intentions of stopping it. I still got plenty of gas in the tank. Um, I was just a little worried last year about um, – just merely, you know, being able to uh, get the show out there, and I didn't want the show to suffer. And I, and uh, frankly, I don't think the show suffered at all this year. And I think it was one of our best years. I mean, there's a stretch of episodes um, where it's just on fire. I think this year. So. I will say, you know, that I'm a listener, and I mm-hmm. listen to the show when first I'm time not listener. on it. Yeah, you know, a first time listener. <laughs> I decided to try an episode where I wasn't on it. I was like, <laughs> this is 
<laughs> not bad. It's not bad. I mean, it doesn't but happen. I, I listen. I listen to the show um, on a regular basis, and uh, this was a tremendous year for the show. I, I, you know, this show for me is, um, you know, I'm running around from one thing to another, sure. constantly. You're always doing errands. You're always late. I'm and you're like, always doing errands. I'm always oh, late. Fuck, cuckoo! I, I drop my dry cleaning off. And I'm, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy behind the counter was like, I didn't know you were going to be here. What do I care? <laughs> it makes it worse. <laughs> so, so I listen to the show a lot in the car and mm-hmm. it, it, it keeps me company and it's, it's, you know, keeps me, it keeps me from getting, um, you know, uh, afraid. too stressed out, afraid. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, yeah, <laughs> but, but, um, it's it's a uh, it's a companion to me, and and this has been a great year for the show. My I've, companions, I've le- <laughs> they, they come to me. They in come the car. to me at night <laughs> in the car when I have my dry cleaning. There's a new one, by the way. There's a new. Oh, there is. Oh, I gotta company see that. We gotta talk about it on three. Where it's like he sees a. Th- th- it's a different guy. He sees a squirrel. <laughs> I think it's wise that it's a different guy, <laughs> not the same guy. Like, what's he looking at now? <laughs> yeah, who's this? What's this <laughs> crazy old bird up to today? He like looks down and he sees a. Uh, there's the two dogs and then one disappears. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's w- just, only one. Yeah, it's just as disturbing. It's not like he other. saw one dog and it disappeared. No, he saw two and there only are two one dogs. Only one disappeared. Well, so I don't even know if that one is really one is there. real because that one could but go at any time. It's not quite as dramatic as the previous uh, commercial. Okay, they're so like, they're oh, right. okay, let's pull it back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How about the guy sees two dogs and then one disappears? <laughs> <laughs> they're getting network notes. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, this is, you're, you're really straining credulity here. Look, Look, he sees two dogs, one disappears. It's th- easy. This is all to say that this. This has been a great year for the show, uh, and, and I say that as a listener of the show. Thank you very much, Paul. And I say this as the host of the show, I'm doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Keep at it, Scotty boy. <laughs> These are my motivations. Uh, no, the, I, I had a lot of fun this year. Um, it, uh, uh, it started to look like it was going to get hard to juggle, but it all worked out, and uh, – I was able to uh, uh, cover my shift. <laughs> That's what it really was what it is. I That's right. You know, yeah. I, 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 so uh, this year is going to be even better. It's going to be our 10th anniversary, and you will not believe what we have in store. Give for, him a little hint. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, – <laughs> It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And uh, keep listening to it. You know, it really means the world to us when you um, write to us on our various social media platforms um, to say that, uh, you know, we get a lot of messages from people who are uh, anything from being in the hospital uh, and having this is the only art form that they're able to either concentrate on or consume for various reasons. Um, to people going through hard times who don't think that they are allowed to laugh. Uh, and this sort of leads them into the awe of Dabda. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but uh, it really means a lot to us to hear stuff like that. Um, and so we're not going to stop, you know? I'm not going to stop, and I hope you don't stop listening to it um, until the apocalypse. And then, and only then, are you allowed... To stop listening. <laughs> but two more episodes. Two more episodes after Apocalypse, that. Apocalypse, two more episodes. Two more episodes because they'll Maybe already be scheduled. They'll already be scheduled. So while you're running away from zombies or the, you know, the nuclear wasteland uh, chuds. scarred chuds. The toxic Avengers. <laughs> yes. Make sure to have those headphones in. <laughs> the Tremors worms. <laughs> do you think that's how the apocalypse is going to come I about? I think it's going to be just like the Tremors. The Tremors worms? I think it's going to be just <laughs> That's like what's going to do us in? Yeah. And thank God we still have Reba McIntyre. <laughs> Reba. All right, guys. Um, I want to thank uh, also everyone who worked on the show this year um, in the booth over here, Engineer Sam. You did a lot of episodes. Don't get on my... Um, and you did a ton of episodes this year. It's great. All of our engineers, we got some new ones in, Mm -hmm. uh, this year and, uh, some stayed even. Yeah. So yeah, (laughs) uh, really great, uh, working with the people who work at the company here. And, um, also the people, uh, who worked PCAST blast, uh, last week, the, our big festival that we had in, in Los Angeles, uh, the earwolf people and stitcher people who worked that really made it go smoothly. Also in my, uh, assistant Corinne did a lot of work on that. So that's uh, right. Uh, shout out to her. Now uh, one guy from the East who watched cops on his laptop. <laughs> that was so bizarre. It was strange. It was what strange. was his job? 
I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know what he was doing, but he was right there, uh, stage left yep. the entire time watching cops had on a, his laptop. Had a great seat. <laughs> the best seat in the house. <laughs> Instead, watch cops. <laughs> I've been meaning to catch up on the show. <laughs> what are all my favorite criminals up to? <laughs> um, anyway, thanks to everyone. Uh, we don't mean to get maudlin, but uh, it, it means a lot to us that you listen. Well, Paul, I want to thank you especially for doing these with me every year. Uh, it, it's really great. You're a big part of the show, and uh, I hope you never quit it. I hope you never quit me. I hope I never get fired. <laughs> Scott, I, I love being a part I'm gonna of I'm going to buy you a phone, by the way, this year. And you, you may receive a text on Christmas Day. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you remember the, was it from a million show? years yeah. ago when we started doing these best ofs? <laughs> I love being a part of the show, and I love doing these best ofs with you. It's so I, fun. I really look forward to it, and it's always a good time. Always and, a great time. And so thank you, for, thank you for having me on the show. My pleasure. Uh, it truly is my pleasure, and I hope uh, even more than that, the audience's pleasure. Um, that's going to be it. I don't. I hope it's, who I, knows? I hope it's our pleasure more than theirs. Really? You hope that we, I, yeah. I mean, I probably do. We're the get, ones doing it. I know. I probably get more out of it than the audience does. Well, but I think that makes sense. Like, yeah. It, it it's our be, life's look, work. Audience. Take a breather. It should be more enjoyable <laughs> to us. Don't listen to this. It should. No, they need to hear <laughs> it. <laughs> okay. All right. It should be more enjoyable for us than it is for you because we have to do it. All you have to do is listen to it. It's all done for you. But we're the uh, ones sweating. We're the ones. I sweat a lot I'm not, when we do these. Yeah. That's, I am soaked You sweat right anytime. Now. You're, you're always sweating. That, oh, really? You have, have a you gland problem. That? Yes. Your <laughs> glands are fucked up. I'm saying, my point is, I'm not saying what we do is hard. It's just a little bit more than what the audience has to do. <laughs> so we should enjoy it more. I made my case. All right. You're out of order. Ah! You're the devil's advocate. The jinx. <laughs> All right. We will see. It already is 2019 when you're hearing this, but we'll see you on Monday for the first episode of the year with Ben Schwartz and Horatio Sands. Mm. Uh, it's going to be a great 2019. Stick with us. We'll see you later. Thanks. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for listening, and remember, let's talk about Hotel Tonight. By showing you top-rated hotels with unsold rooms, Hotel Tonight makes it easy to book your stay at an amazing rate. And even though their name is Hotel Tonight, you can book in advance, okay? It's perfect for spontaneous weekend getaways, three-day weekends, staycations, road trips, business trips, booking a place with a pool, and more. So to start scoring amazing deals at incredible hotels, go to hoteltonight.com or download the app now. Hi, I'm Paul F. Tompkins. My podcast, Spontanean Nation, is wrapping up at episode 200, and that final show will drop on Monday, January 21st. We'll have one of our favorite guests in for an interview and an extra long improv set featuring an expanded lineup of Spontanean Nation All Stars. Whether you've been a fan from day one or you've never even heard the show before, I hope you'll listen to this very special episode. Happy New Year!